If I click all these buttons in the right order, then something should happen. There it is. Right, so. Hello. Hello, stream. <laughs> How are we doing? We doing all right? We're in good form? In good form, I imagine a lot of you, 99% uh, of you at this point have all come over from, uh, from, um, uh, to, from, from, from here, here, Womble. So good day to you all. Um, right. So, cold waters. I, I was, I, I sort of, I threw the, uh, the choice of either FTL or, uh, cold waters out in chat, uh, over on Womble's side. And, uh, quite a few of you did say, uh, FTL, but, uh, it's one of those ones. We played... Uh, FTL quite recently, um, in contrast to um, Cold Waters here. In fact, it's been exactly a week uh, since we last played Cold Waters. So I thought we'd uh, we'd play a little bit of this, get so people could get their uh, submarine fix. Should be good. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But we're going to play some submarines, I guess. Right. Do 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 do. Just bear with me here, setting stuff up. I'm totally not getting dressed, like, <laughs> totally not getting dressed because I've totally not just had a shower. It's not true. Uh, uh, and me glasses, which are fucking filthy, just bear with me. Let's give it the old, uh, the old spritz. Don't knock that off. Right. <clears throat> Talk amongst yourselves. There we go. There we go. The nice thing about working at an optician is that I've always got a fucking million gallons of lens cleaner in the house <clears throat> that I've acquired um, by legal means right cool there we are perfect there we are so there we go I can see through my glasses and everything right then so <laughs> can the chat get free samples yes if you walk into my shop and, and quote code Quebec10, um, you get 10 milliliters of lens spray. I'll, I'll pour some into your hand and you can like throw it against your glass. Anyway, I um, yeah, hope we're all doing well. We're, like I said, we're going to get into some cold water. So I do have a question to ask of chat um, about uh, the, uh, the events that are about to unfold. First of all, I'd like to ask you which campaign we're going to play today. Um, you've got choices of either the 1984... Russian campaign or the year 2000 South China Sea campaign. Which one would uh, chat like to see? Uh, just uh, cast your uh, cast your votes in chat, and uh, we'll see. I know Zenith was keen on the South China Sea. We got China, Russian, Russian, China, 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 Russian. Wall of text, wall of text. I can't see it. Scrolling too fast. It's like the end credits to a Quentin Tarantino film. I can't see what's. 1984. There's a lot of 1984 creeping through. Oh no, China's China's coming back in force. There it is. Okay, I think we'll do some China then. We'll do so China. Uh, we'll we'll fucking we'll dig up oh, the uh, the bad blood yeah. of the uh, the trade war. Um, as Asmaroth, thank you very much, mate. Cheers, bro. Uh, right then, so let's do China, and then I've got another question to ask of you. Let me just change the scene so you can see the game here. And. In theory, there we go. We'll close that. We'll drag that over there. We'll close this because we're not using it anymore. We'll buffer that there. Get that there. Perfect. Okay. Let's head back into the game. Excellent. Right then. By the way, I didn't know what a Foxtrot class submarine is. I didn't didn't know that a Foxtrot class submarine is moored in Amsterdam. Oh right. <laughs> it's not active, is it? They've not, like, just parked it there as a show of military strength. It's like a museum piece, I hope. <laughs> it's not the Russians dropping hints, I hope. Uh, anyway, let's jump into the campaign then. So we had a few choices, as I say, the North Atlantic and the South China Sea. We're going with the South China Sea. A major economic crisis sees the Chinese leadership make a military push to secure Hong Kong and, vast, and the vast oil fields of the, Sp the Spratly Islands, even. A crashed, strapped cash-strapped even, Russia meanwhile supplies the People's Republic of China with military aid. The difficulty is hard because both sides have very capable submarines and weapons. Because it is the year 2000, the Chinese aren't like this, you know, they're, they're kind of migrating out of this uh, Soviet communist-like um, uh, setup. They're starting to get more modern equipment as they become more involved as a major power. 
Uh, NL Blade says, some Turkish people bought it from the Russians, wanted to sell it for scrap, but it got tangled up in the famous Dutch paperwork train, and now they sold it to the Belgians. Well, there we are. Cool. So yeah, yeah, they were trying to take oil... <laughs> yeah, Nav in chat there. They were trying to take oil away from the, uh, <laughs> from the Americans. The Americans were like, fuck off. Here we come. There's some liberation. There's some freedom that needs delivered to the South China Sea in the year 2000. Now, uh, the other question I have to ask of chat is, we have a plethora of submarines at our disposal uh, for the South China Sea campaign, not least this one here, the most modern nuclear attack submarine in the American fleet for the time. This is a Sea Wolf class. Um, I'm not entirely sure what SSN it is. Uh, the notes are, the Sea Wolf was designed to be a superlative hunter-killer submarine that could penetrate the heavily guarded Soviet boomer bastions and not only survive there, but thrive there. The Sea Wolf features twice the torpedo tubes and twice the weapon load over preceding classes of nuclear attack submarines, with better sensors and much better quietening than other submarines. All of this superlative performance came at a tremendous cost, however, and only three of these submarines were built, with SSN-23 becoming a special projects boat. I know nothing about SSN-23, by the way. <laughs> Don't ask. I haven't a clue. So, one of the major things about the uh, the Sea Wolf here is that its uh, weapon control system, its fire control system, is vastly superior. As we can see down here, not even by looking at the notes, we've got four torpedo tubes port and four to torpedo tubes starboard, and each of these has its own independent wire system, which means we can uh, literally, if you imagine a tow missile launcher, where it shoots a missile and it's got like a little wire trailing behind it so that the uh, weapon operator can steer the weapon, all of the torpedoes in the Seawolf class have their own independent wire system, which means they are able to shoot and we're able to steer them all individually to get them on target, so that's one plus for the Seawolf. A lot of people are asking for the Sea Wolf, actually. Um, lots of Sea Wolves. Let me show you the other submarines we've got, just in case people want to change their mind. So, we've got the Los Angeles Fleet 3. This is a very large nuclear attack submarine. Um, the, uh, the 688, that's the one. The original version of the 688 design that adds improved quietening and improved... Oh, dear. BS1, BSY1 combat control system, under ice capability and increased weapon storage for 12 indigestion, terrible um, 12 vertical launch tubes which are these little bastards on the top here the idea is that the submarine can uh, from about 200 metres under the water fire submarines vertically out of the top of the submarine I don't remember whether that's emulated in the game, but it could be so this is the 688. We've also got the Fleet 2, which is an older model. The Fleet 1, which is the original model, the Los Angeles class. We've also got at our disposal the Sturgeon, which is very outdated by this point. And that is that. So is it still for Seawolf? Everyone's still feeling the Seawolf? Uh, or do we want to take one of the uh, 688 submarines out? Or, or indeed the Sturgeon. We've got a few choices. Can it fire submarines out of the first? Yeah, smaller subs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no skipjack. Okay, so much for the Sea Wolf then. So we shall take the old Sea Wolf out. We'll take the old gal. Um, just to set the scene for you, I'm going to read uh, the newspaper clippings for anyone who hasn't seen uh, what the newspaper clippings are. Okay. So the Straits of Crisis. In the year since Li Tenhui. I, yeah, I apologise for anyone from uh, of Oriental persuasion, I'm going to butcher it. Um, pronounced Taiwanese independence after a national referendum vote, regional tensions remain high in Eastern Asia. While opposing military forces have demobilised, diplomatic rhetoric has only escalated, with the Chinese Communist Party representatives promising to return the renegade province to the fold. The belligerent tone taken by the People's Republic of China over Taiwan has extended to Hong Kong, destabilizing regional relations and leading the UK government to indefinitely delay the planned handover of Hong Kong to China. Anti-Western protests have been a regular sight in mainland cities since. So this is setting the scene for the, for the war to come. Uh, tiger economy collapses. The economic crisis that started with the collapse of the Thai Baht in the spring has become a global financial contagion, showing no signs of abating. 
International authorities have been unable to develop an effective response due to escalating tensions between China and the US, which has allowed the crisis to continue unabated. The Russians have been particularly hard hit, however, with hyperinflation taking hold of the ruble's value on the international market being wiped out. Desperate for foreign capital, the government has sold large amounts of military equipment to the Chinese, including advanced submarines along with Russian crews as military advisors. Okay, August 27th, 2000, China is on the offensive. China has launched a series of attacks along its periphery, placing recent sabotage against Keep US... The change, oh. you filthy animal. Thank you very much. Can't stick about. Have a good stream, Q and chat. Ah, thank you very much, Thalfi, and thank you very much for the five pounds. You take care of yourself, Thalf, all right. Um, blah, blah, blah. Sabotage against US military installations in a new light. Tensions have remained high since Taiwan's independence and Hong Kong's failed handover, likely resulting in the People's Republic of China deciding that the time is ripe to resolve these issues and enforce their territorial claims in the South China Sea. Furthermore, analysts have noted that in recent months the Chinese economy may finally be finally feeling the effects of the Asian economic crisis. Capturing resource-rich areas in the South China Sea may be an effort to divert domestic attention away from the stark economic situation. Here we are. So basically, to summarise again, if that wall of text was just like information overload, the Taiwanese have had an independence referendum, meaning that Hong Kong has broken away from China. Um, they, there has been a major economic collapse in Asia and uh, the ruble's value has tanked which means the Russians have sold military equipment to the Chinese and the Chinese are using that military equipment in combination with their own to launch uh, a, an, essentially an invasion of uh, non-Chinese installations and islands around the South, Ch South China Sea, uh, namely to secure Hong Kong from the Taiwanese and namely to secure the Spratly Islands from uh, the the US or from uh, whoever holds the Spratly Islands at the moment. I don't know who's actually, who owns them. I think they all own a piece of them, don't they? Like, I think like um, there's there's loads of countries and like I think there's four or five countries that have like a stake because the Spratly Islands are loads of little islands and I think uh, the Chinese own some of them because I know that the border in the South China Sea has been disputed for a lot. Anyway, um, the tactical situation, again, it's the 27th of August, 2000, and it is 11 o'clock at night, 2300 hours. Tactical situation, intelligence has discerned a pattern to movements of enemy at-sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Shantou momentarily for a rendezvous somewhere in the East China Sea. You are ordered to find and sink this group. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships the group intends to support, but the tankers and tenders, or tenders and tankers, are the mission target. Primary objective, locate and sink the enemy replenishment tankers. Secondary objective, locate and sink any nearby warships if possible. Objective four is to avoid detection by enemy anti-submarine warfare patrols, ASWs. So this can be in the form of submarines, it could be in the form of surface ships, special hunter-killer groups that have been dispatched by the Chinese to find my submarine and kill it. So we need to avoid those or destroy them if we do make contact. Um, we are also weapons free, so there is no restriction on what Chinese shipping we can sink. We can sink merchant ships, we can sink military ships. We are total weapons green on any Chinese targets, civilian or not. Okay, an MCOM. Maintain radio silence until otherwise directed. And yes, if chat's wondering if there's any Chinese whales, we'll be sure to uh, give them a rib. Anyway, let's cast off from port. So just a review of orders. We need to move towards the direction of Shantou, basing ourselves somewhere in the East China Sea, ready to uh, take on the... Uh, the tankers and tenders, so East China Sea. So it's up here. We're being dispatched from Guam in the bottom right, that little blue submarine icon, that's us. We're going to go past Okinawa on, via the south of it through the Philippine Sea, and then we're going to base ourselves in the shallow of the East China Sea. So Shantou is being dispatched from. There's a very good chance it's going to go through the shallows by Taipei. So this will be a good place to try and intercept. So we're going to hold here at periscope depth and see if any of our maritime air patrols are able to spot the target. Here we go, this looks like them, moving very slowly. Perfect. We've intercepted something moving north, some kind of surface vessel. USS Seawolf SSN-21 in the vicinity of the Taiwan Strait. 
It is the 29th of August at 0600 hours. Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 211, designated as Sierra 1, Sierra meaning it's been found by sonar. Um, XO reports that our depth is at 50 feet, heading 271. Speed is 5 knots. Local conditions are scattered with no surface duct and no thermal layer. We are going to close to 20,000 yards and we're going to rig ship for silent running. Rig ship for ultra quiet. So we're rigging ship for silent running. We're now up on the surface here. We're going to raise the ESM mast. Raise the ESM mast. In an attempt for surface detection. Oh, hello. We've had a weapon ping. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Two, one, four. Designated Sierra 3. Lower, Lower the, the ESM mast. mast. Okay. Sierra 3 seems to Con, have fired sonar, a weapon at us. contact bearing. Two, two, zero. Designated sonar, take Sierra, a sounding. Four. Total water depth is 200 feet. Dive, bring us Con, down to sonar, 100 zero, zero feet. Peak depth, one, zero, zero feet. Dive, by. Okay, sorry, I saw a red contact, which means a, a red sonar ping, a red line bounced off the hull, which usually uh, indicates the short, sharp burst of a homing weapon. So we need to bear in mind that there could be a weapon on us. Now, total range to targets is roughly 10,000 yards, so we're a lot closer than was previously estimated. Now, when we raise the ESM mast, uh, Master 1 has ticked over to... Con oh, sorry, Sierra 1 contact. has ticked Sierra over to Master four. 1. Last bearing, 2, 2. Zero. Contact faded. Which means we're potentially found Con, a very large ship. One, zero, zero feet, dive by. Because the ESM mast is designed to, it's uh, an, I think, electro electronic sensor module or something like that. It's, it's basically designed to detect, oh hello, I think we've got a winner. Matches the narrow band. We've got a Jiang, a Dijang. Con, sonar, Let's take a look. Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Very large merchant ship here. So a Diang, that's likely our target. Let's take a look at Master 1. It's too quiet, it's likely, likely a warship. A lot of these signatures are very garbled. This one's shining through. This one's either a very loud merchant or a warship that's quite close. Not quite a winner. Oh, right there, merchant. Lock it in. Con sonar Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. So it's not classified as a dedicated hostile merchant ship. However, if we uh, wreck, if we recon it, not retcon, and we find that it is flying a Chinese flag, we are weapons green on it. Okay, let's continue. What we're going to do is we're going to raise the ESM mast again. We're going to look at the detection threshold. Dive, bring us up to five zero feet. Make depth five zero feet. Dive by. I want to raise the ESM mast again and see our likelihood of detection. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra, Sierra 4. Been four. Bearing 2, 1, 9. Let's check out Sierra 4. Okay, we got him. Let's check surface warships. Here we go, we've got one. A Sovereign, a Russian ship. Sierra 4 is classified as escort. So this is a Russian ship that's been sold to them, the Sovereign, DDG. Reasonably capable, actually. Okay, we are now at 5-0 feet. Raise the ESM mast. Check the detection threshold in the top left, 100%. Lower the ESM mast. Lower the ESM mast, which means if we raise the periscope for a long period of time, we're going to get detected. So, we're going to hold here at 5-0 feet for now, and we're going to start by checking the... There's a very good chance that we won't be detected at this range. So we're going to release the ship from silent running, and we're going to start reloading tubes with different pieces of equipment. Tube 4 is going to be reload reloaded with a mobile submarine simulator, a decoy. We're going to reload tubes 8 and 7 with harpoon missiles. And we're going to keep the rest with torpedoes. We're going to set tubes 1, 4, 2, and 5. Or sorry, 1, 5, 2, and 6, sorry, to surface search. And we're going to use these as our primary weapons. Now again, I don't really want to give the game away here. What we're going to do is we're now going to point the targets. Helm, come left, bearing 220. Come left to 222. Two, two, two. Helm, I. We're going to point the targets. We're going to fire torpedoes and then we're going to change course to avoid their counter fire. 
Uh, thank you, Sergeant Overkill, for the host there. I saw that pop up. Nothing's uh, popped up on the stream here, but thank you nonetheless. How you doing, Hyper? And uh, everybody else who's in chat there as well. How you doing? Are you doing all right? Enjoying it so far? <laughs> We've not done anything, but hopefully you're in. Hopefully you're in the same mindset as I am at the moment. Con, torpedo room, oh, four ready. Yeah. Clone tour, a cold water stream. Hope there will be a torpedo scream. There's Con, no doubt. Sonar, lost contact. Sierra four, last bearing two, one, eight. Contact faded. Sierra four is fading in and out of contact quite quite a lot. So. We've still got no reasonable handle on things. Let's take a look for that large ship that we detected, Con, Sierra L, 3. It's currently at 16,000 yards at 210, or bearing 210. Let's raise the scope and see if we can see it. Up scope. 210. There we go, we've got something out there. Mark. Got more ships, Mark. Con, sonar. Master 2 is classified as escort. Got three surface ships in the fog. Oh, and then that merchant ship, Mark. Unknown if that's flying a Chinese flag at the moment. Down scope. Down scope. Okay, so the two ships through visual scanning have been marked as two Jiang Wei's. Let's have a look at Jiang Wei's. Those are surface Con, combatant ships, I'm pretty sure. Ready. There we are. So we've got two. Um, FF class two and a half, well, 2.2 thousand ton missile boats, not great. And then a Sovermini, which is clearly heading the fleet. They've now gone active. They detected our periscope above the water. Not exactly where we are, but roughly where we are. So the game's up. Total cloak has been lost. So we're going to get ready to fire some weapons here in a reasonable spread. We're going to fire one right down the middle and see who we hit. So, firing point procedures. Bearing 215. Range to enable 8,600 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 1. Ship tube 1, aye, sir. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally. One times ADCAP Mark 48 torpedo, ADCAP standing for advanced capability, has now been launched. It's going to travel to its enable point and it's going to activate its homing warhead and begin tracking targets. We're going to leave the weapon on passive search as not to give the game away too quickly. Con, torpedo room, tube eight ready. Stand by. The Jang J there could be quite a lot closer. Master 3 is just flagged. This looks accurate. Stand by. Master 3 is very close, supposedly. Adjust the course of the weapon. Okay, the Jangwei is flagging up back there. It would make more sense if it was back there. Yeah, that makes more sense. Return the weapon to Con its original sonar bearing. Regained contact on master four bearing two one six. Helm, come left bearing or come yeah come left bearing one six five. Come left to one six five. Helm, I. We'll change course. Have they launched helicopters? Yes. And they've got a surface plane looking for us as well. We've got a helicopter and aircraft scanning the waters for us. Which means we can't fire missiles to our dismay, I'm afraid. MOSS? We could use one. At the moment, the priority is going after the merchant ship that's likely going to be doing a 180 to try and save itself. No sign of those other contacts. The Jangway is closing. Con, We've still got a good sonar solution course. on Master 2. Let's lock him in the targeting computer. He's travelling at 19 knots, 13,000 yard range. Unfortunately, I'm not going to activate this warhead until it is past the merchant ship. I don't want to accidentally have this weapon suck up on it if it is not a hostile target. Again, we're weapons free on Chinese shipping, but it might not be Chinese. It could be anyone. It could be a Philippine ship for all we know. So we've we got to be careful not to uh, shoot the vessels of our allies if we can avoid it. Um, Grumpy Pirate, you are 100% correct. We're bang in trouble. We're only in about 250 feet of water, so weapons that are incoming are going to hit, basically. 
There's not much I can do about that. Okay, the weapon is just transiting in front of the bearing of Master 5. After this, we will activate the weapon and have it home in on the Jangwei. Hopefully, the noise created by the merchant ship is somewhat masking the approach of our ADCAP torpedo. Since when do we care about nationality? It's true. It's true. Okay, they're passed. Activate the homing warhead of the ADCAP torpedo. The weapon is now speeding up, as you can see by the dots God, fire control. Weapon acquired. increasing in gap size, which means the weapon is now up to, I believe it's 54 knot top speed, and it is now locked onto the Jiang Wei. Is the Jiang Wei now changing course? No, it's staying on the straight and narrow. He's starting to turn left from the looks of things. There's a very slight left turn coming in. As soon as the weapon's on top of him, he's going to change course quite sharply in an attempt to drop countermeasures. He might be leaving it too late. No, here comes the turn. There's a counter fire of torpedoes coming in. He's firing them in an interesting direction. Don't hit yourself, my friend. Okay, helm, bring us left, bearing one, three, two. Come left to one, three, two, helm, I. There's two torpedoes, they're being fired out this way. Interesting, are they snaking search? He's dumped them off the side, they're not accurate at all. He's panic fired. There's that merchant ship that we need to get. Again, I need to fire torpedoes only while the enemy have aircraft about. Here we go. This isn't the, this isn't the ship that's launched its helicopter. It might be the Sovereign his helicopter. They didn't get their helicopter off the deck. Console lost contact. Master two. Last bearing two. One, so Master two seven. has been shut contact down. The Sovereign looks like it's Con still closing. Helm. Steady course. Reload Mark forty eight in tube one. Ready tube. We're to the right there, so we want to fire out of this tubes to maximise wire efficiency. So ready tube five. Firing point procedures. Bearing. Let's go bearing. Yeah, let's do this. Bearing two one three. Range to enable. Eleven thousand eight hundred yards. Ship ready. Tube ready. Fire tube five. Shoot tube five. Aye, sir. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally. We're going to engage the Sovereignty. Now, the problem is, is that the Jiang Wei here is, opera, is, is sinking in about 200 feet of water. The issue is, is that the noise created by the sinking ship will be detected by our torpedo. So essentially, we've created an anomaly that the torpedo can accidentally get sucked up on. So we need to be wary of the fact that the torpedo could fail and hit this wreck. So we'll need to guide it onto the submarine. He's closing at close range. This little indicator on the map here is a hostile dipping sonar. Essentially what's happening is that the helicopter has, it's just retracting it now, but it's lowering a sonar into the water to try and detect us. You can also see here that it's got a couple of torpedoes strapped to the side, which means as soon as it finds something with its dipping sonar, by dropping in a passively uh, oriented sonar into the water and listening for us, if it thinks it's close, it will drop one of its torpedoes and try and have that torpedo find us using the same homing equipment that we're using. Yep, the ship had quite probably had a full fuel tank. It's not long left. You can see how narrow the gap is that we're in. The merchant ship is now passing. The question is, is how accurate is the data on the Sovereignty? Let's pop it into the targeting computer. The solution certainty, as it says here in the bottom left, is 81%. Apologies, I can't make the interface any bigger. Uh, in fact, maybe I can, but I don't want it to totally swamp the screen. Um, so you'll have to trust me if you're on a mobile phone, it says 81% or 82%. So 82% solution, which means that sonar is 82% certain that this mark of the Sovereignty is accurate. And as he closes at high speed, that solution is going to get more and more accurate. Current estimate of his range is 12,800 yards, pulling 21 knots, heading course 27. I think I saw a launch transient there. Interesting. Sovereign is probably about here. Adjust course of the weapon. 
Again, weapon is set to surface search. Again, the trick here is not to get it sucked up on the wreck of the Jang Wei. Let's adjust the weapon like this. We're going to have it hook into the Sovereignty's side so that the Sovereignty is between the Jang Wei and the Torpedo. So we're going to have the weapon approach from a sideways attack and then we'll go from there. So if the Son our Sovereignty detects this Torpedo now, it will think we've missed and it will think that we've fired it from somewhere up here, tracing the line of attack. So this is good, helps with torpedo evasion and it helps with masking our position. Soviet is banging for you, what does that mean? Oh, the Sov is banging for you, I see. The Sov many. Ah, here he goes, that's accurate. Okay. Let's adjust the course of the weapon. We've got, sorry, I thought you meant Soviet was asking for me. I thought, oh, okay, what's he want? <laughs> but no, the Sovereignty is banging for us. It's making 21 knots. We are now certain of his target solution. We're now going to adjust the bearing of the weapon to the target. Adjust bearing 216. Weapon has made its course correction. We're going to activate the warhead. And we're going to have it steamroll for the target. Helm, bring us right. Bearing, 258. Come right to 258. Helm, I. I'm going to change course again. We're going to zigzag. The Jang Day is pulling away. Let's take a look at it. Jang Day is only pulling Gun, 19 fire knots. Control. Weapon acquired. There we go. Sovereign is locked in. Last target is the Jang Gu. We're going to service that target now. Firing point procedures from tube, let's go tube 6. Bearing 207, range to enable 14,000 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 6. Shoot tube 6, aye sir. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally. Stay firm. Back to tracking the target. Some of many is closing here. There we go, you can see the other ship out there. Oh, hello. Had a dipping sonar dropped. From the sounds of things. Sovereign is turning sonar, away. Maker, bearing. There we two, go, a countermeasure's two. been dropped. We're going to steer it manually onto the target. So I've taken manual control of the torpedo now, and I'm steering it onto target. We're going to wait for the warhead to lock on again. Gun, fire control, weapon acquired. Weapon acquired. He's gone into countermeasure homing. I'm going to steer him back on target. We're going to hit him in his starboard side. Here it comes. Con sonar lost contact. Master four. Last bearing two, two, four. Contact breaking up. So he's taking on water astern. He's going down. Okay, weapon six is already underway to the Jangu, which is good. Con helm steady course. And then it's a question of shooting the Dang, the Jang, the Daj, the Dajiang. The Dajiang. It's like a second language to me, man. <laughs> right. Right. Is there still aircraft? Correct. Just because we've knocked out the ships that were carrying them does not mean... Oh, hello. <laughs> TCAS! Traffic Collision Avoidance System! Oh, God, look at that go down. I bet you that's quite a sight from the helicopter. Again... They are now searching from the direction that the torpedo was last seen, which is over here. Stand by, we do have incoming weapons. Helm, bring us right, bearing 283. Come right to 283. Okay, I. so the Sovereignty dumped some torpedoes. One got lucky, one's gone active. Helm, bring us down to 150 feet. Depth 150 feet, die by. This weapon's now going into a snaking search. We're going to need to speed up. Turn the screws for seven knots, please. Maneuvering seven knots. Make turns for seven 
knots, maneuvering eye. Con, helm, steady course. Weapon's still on target for the Jangu. Adjust the weapon warhead. Adjust the RTE point range to enable points to 211. Range 11,500 yards. Weapon has made its course correction. Helm, head two thirds. Ten knots, please. Make turns for one, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Gotta get out of the way of this weapon. Con, dive at one, five, zero feet. Dive by. Okay. What's the sounding, please? Two, six, six feet. Helm, bring us down to two, zero, zero feet. Make depth two, zero, zero feet. Dive by. We're going to speed up again. <clears throat> Got to get out of the way of this torpedo before it gets to us. Okay. Yeah, that's my plan, army. I just want to make definitely sure that I don't cavitate. Okay. Maneuvering. All ahead standard. Turn the screws for 15 knots. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con is at 200 feet, eye. One, five knots. Reload Con, ammo or marks. Yeah, sorry. Master reload three, fucking last bearing ad cap. Two, That's zero, the one. Eight, In two, five. Okay. Weapon six we are now going to enable. Activate the weapon, please. Steer it onto the Jangu. Here we are. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, you see, it's getting sucked up on the wreck of the Sovermini. We're going to break its neck, we're going to turn it off target, and then we're going to try and get it to track the Jangu. You see the problem here? There we go. It's now tracking Con, sonar, the Sovermini again. Contact. Master, five, last bearing, one. Three, two, contact is in the baffles. There we go, it's now on the Jangu. You can see the problem though, with these wrecks in shallow water, it creates a big problem. It would be interesting if they added a level of persistence, because after this battle's finished, I'm pretty sure these ships disappear. But if I fought in the Taiwan Strait again, these ships would, uh, would hopefully still be here. Do you know what I mean? And still create obstacles. Okay, so the Jangu is making its evasive turn. Con, it's going to get to drop countermeasures, but I'm Con, going to stick. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing one six. All ahead, zero. flank cavitate. Con, sonar. We are cavitating. The torpedo found us. Okay. Fire an MOSS Con, in the sonar. direction of Noise the fleet. Con, torpedo room. Tube jammed on launch. Ah, tube jammed. Unlucky. Con, fire control. We've lost the wire. Reload an MOSS in tube six. Drop a decoy. Helm, bring us right to bearing zero one eight. We're going to go evasive. Right zero one eight. Helm, I. Okay. So the tube's jammed. So we've lost one of our eight tubes. That's going to be stuck Con, in there. Con, At no, least it wasn't a torpedo. <laughs> it's just a decoy. Con, knuckle formed. Knuckle formed. What we're going to do in the event of us losing one of our MOSSs is that we're going to try and confuse the torpedo by using the rudder. We're going to create wash by turning the rudder hard left and hard right to create something known as a knuckle and that is going to confuse the sensor head on the torpedo. Now unfortunately folks this is a ship launch torpedo which means this one is going to have a very long runtime. We're going to be in torpedo evasion for quite a long time here. There's been an explosion could potentially be the Jangu, but I'm not sure. What's more than likely happened is that the weapon has got confused. Con, knuckle formed. And it has crashed into the Sovermini, so we should as we should assume Con, the Jangu is still room, in play. Tube six ready. The weapon's closing. Elm bring us left. Bearings. Three one three. Come left to three one three. Helm I. Con, maneuvering, making turns for three, Drop five, a decoy. Knots. Decoys do the same thing as creating a knuckle. Pretty much. I think they make it worse, to be honest, yeah. 
because he's going to chase that down rather than go into countermeasure homing. Never mind. Hopefully he'll go to port or starboard even. Go starboard. Nope, he's gone port. Gone. Knuckle. Knuckle formed. There's no point firing an MOSS when the target is this close, unfortunately. Helm come right, bearing three, no, one, zero, one, come one, zero, right two. two. Zero, one, two. Zero, one, Helm, two. I. There's a bit of a ballet going on. Con, Helm, steady course. Create a knuckle. knuckle formed. There we go. The weapon is closing, however. Our next move, we've got to plan carefully. Helm, come right, bearing 069070. Come right to 070. Helm, I. Currently pulling 35 knots. Quite fast Con, for a submarine. Helm, steady course. Get another knuckle. Con, knuckle formed. Knuckle formed. We've got some choices here about how we can evade the torpedo. None of them are good. Helm, come right to bearing 118. 118. Right one, 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 eight. No. <coughs> Why not fire an MOSS in the direction which you are not heading and then break away? Con, because the weapon's Helm, so close, when it goes into circular search, it's going to reacquire us. It might buy us some time, but frankly, we should use the MOSS differently. Con, knuckle formed. We can keep the weapon confused by changing course and using knuckles. We're lucky that we're not cav- well, I was going to say, we're lucky that we're not cavitating. Who <laughs> do? Okay, so, decent change of course on the weapon then. We're drawing a starfish. Helm, bring us south, bearing 180 if you can. Well, close us down. Helm right to 180. Helm, hi. Dump a decoy as we are unable to make a knuckle in the turn. And okay, this one is going to be close. Con, helm, steady course. There's the weapon. Form a knuckle. Con, knuckle formed. Okay, 30 Con, degrees left formed. rudder. Full rise on planes. Don't surface. Passing 100 feet. Try not to surface. There we are. Can open some distance Passing on the guy now. Feet. Dive, take us down to 200 feet. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. Okay, weapon has been destroyed. Weapons Con, run out of fuel. Less than fifty feet below the keel. Less than fifty feet below the keel. Take us to two zero zero feet. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. Slow the boat down. Turn the screws for five knots. Make turns for Con sonar. No longer cavitating. No longer cavitating. I turn us back on the bearing of the fleet. Helm, bring us right to bearing two zero nine. Come right to. Two, zero, nine, helm, I. Okay, we're still getting pinged on active sonar. Con, dive at two, zero, zero feet, dive by. Master 5 has been re-established. Okay, we're holding at two, zero, zero feet. We can shoot missiles if we want to, but I don't know the last known bearing. There's a very good chance the Diang, or the Dejang, the Dejiang, is going to be on the same contact bearing. Contact on, Master 1, bearing 2. Zero, nine. So I'm going to fire a missile on the last known bearing of Master 3, which Con, is going to be about helm, here. Steady course. So, firing point procedures, bearing 208, range to enable 26,000 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 7. Shoot tube 7. Aye, sir. Con, maneuvering, making turns for 5 knots. 
There's a very good chance the aircraft will have detected that, so I'm going to have aircraft to deal with. This is going to skim the surface and search for any contacts past the enable point, enable point of Master 3. So we'll see. Again, keep our eyes peeled for aircraft. If the weapon drops down into the water and explodes, then it didn't hit its mark. There we go. There's the Diang. It's fired its countermeasures, but we're not going for it. So it is probably around by the Sovermany wreck at the moment. So it's going past. He thought it was being fired at him. In reality, we're going for the merchant ship. So he's fired his countermeasures, so we know roughly where he is. In that case, we're going to fire a torpedo along the last known bearing. So, firing point procedures, bearing 1, 9, uh, sorry, 2, zero, zero, 3, range to enable 11,000 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 11. Shoot tube 2, aye sir. The weapon's snaking, it did not find a target, okay. Good to know. Tube 2 has cleared the tube and is running normally, stand by. Target set to surface search. Enable the weapon. Have it move at max speed while searching ahead of it. We don't know exactly where the Jangwei is, so we're going to assume where it is and assume it's somewhere along this bearing. Reload another harpoon in tube 7. Hmm. And again. Hmm. There we go. An active sonar ping. Maybe a little bit closer to the Jiang Wei here. Turn it on course. Out there. So as I say, the weapon's speeding out ahead of the boat. Like I say, there's only one hostile contact left. At the point where the, uh, the, the last warship is sunk, we will come up to 50 feet. We shall raise the radar mast in an attempt to um, try and detect the large surface area of the uh, warship, or of the um, the Duha. So I've got some messages from T8 Mars here. Ah, that's the Humble Bundle stuff. Also got messages from Blade here. Buy some D&D, have booked Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. No, I've not looked at Baldur's Gate. Okay. I'll be, I'll be sure to read those more thoroughly after the stream. Torpedo room, tube 7 ready. Tube 7 ready, aye. Okay. So this tube is jammed, and there's no way to unjam it until we get back to port. So it's fully jammed at the moment. The breach is closed, but the weapon could not leave the tube because we were moving too quickly. So, that weapon has jammed. A shame, but that's how it's happened. Helicopter. They're searching for the direction. They're searching in the direction of the missile launch. Not good. Yep, there you go. That's where we launched the missile from. All ahead, ten knots. Turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for. Rig well, ship to sign and running. Quiet. Turn the screws for two knots. Make turns for Let's try and run silent. Maneuvering eye. The total noise of our ship is 110 decibels. Oh, he's dropped a torpedo. He's happy he's found us. All ahead, Make flank cavitate. Fire an MOSS behind us. We are cavitating. Helm turn us left, bearing 072. Helm left 072. Helm I. Reload MOSS in tube 6. Gone fire control, we've lost the wire. Lost the wire, I. Con sonar lost contact. Master one, last bearing two. Con helm, steady course. Come on, right. Turn two. us the right way. Zero nine three helm I. Two torpedoes in the water. 
Con, Reload Mark 48. Steady course. Come right to one, two, four. Helm I. No. Con, okay, we're going to get what, at least course. one weapon sucked up on us. We may get two. This is the problem with the torpedoes. They they're built to avoid Con, countermeasures. Sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo Drop a in decoy. The water. It's made no difference. Three, zero, seven. Try and make a knuckle. Con, knuckle formed. Knuckle formed. Nothing. Countermeasure. It's coming through all of our countermeasures. Get another knuckle. We're fish tailing. There we go. That one's hit home. Okay, so one of the torpedoes I believe we've broken contact with. Helicopter's currently tracking with us at the moment. Con, torpedo room. Tube six ready. Just unlucky that that torpedo found us. Broke our cover. Con, this one shouldn't run for very long because it is a, an air, a, a surface launch. Oh, this, this thing's... Not getting confused by our Con, knuckles. Knuckle there we formed. go. Chasing us. I've lost contact with the other weapon. There's a very good chance that it is not on us. So we've only got one weapon. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, five knots. Okay, helm. Do the wiggle. Con knuckle formed. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, one, eight. Aha! Noisemaker. The weapon's found a target. Good, 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 good. Okay. Hopefully we'll get... N the, the enemy warship has dropped a countermeasure, meaning that s the weapon is either on it or is very close to it. I'm hoping that it's, it's locked on and that it won't get sucked up on the wreck of the Sovereignty. They are quite far away now. Con, torpedo room. Two con sonar. Noisemaker <gasps> bearing. Two, two, yes. one. We've broken contact with that other... Okay, we've broken contact with the other torpedo. Slow the ship down, five Con knots. Sonar, no it's, it's lost us. It's gone into a circular search. Perfect. Okay, that's, we've evaded that torpedo. Helm, come right bearing 213. Come right to 213. Helm, I. Okay, let's take a look at our other weapon. Gonna hit. Con sonar regained contact on Tracking Master something very one, close to the surface. Two, two, there we go. Three. Contact Con has been destroyed. Regained contact on Master five. Bearing now that one, helicopter one, has dropped zero. both of its torpedoes, which means we can come up to surface. It probably still has depth charges. Make depth five. But they're zero, not as dangerous as torpedoes. Five. Con helm. Steady that course. is a problem. That is a big problem. Con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing two, five, four. I've got us dead to rights. Dropped a decoy instantly there. Right, fire an MOSS. Let it go. Two, two, three, two, nine. Two, two, six. Aye, sir. Helm, bring us away. Two, two one, four. Come left. One, two, two, four. One, two, four. Helm, aye. Take us down, please, to two Con, zero zero feet. Depth two zero zero feet. Dive by. Now that aircraft, he has a lot of torpedoes. Helm, come right, bearing come one right three two, eight. One three eight. Helm I. Okay. Con helm. It's all Any about course. opening range to the target here. Hopefully we're far enough away from the torpedo to not be acquired by it. Con, dive at two, zero, zero feet, dive by. That is affirmative. We have successfully evaded the weapon. Okay, again, bring us up to five, zero feet. Make Slow us down five, to a head. Zero feet, dive by. One third. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. I need to come up because I need to raise the radar mast and fire my harpoons at the ship that got away. Hopefully it's not out of radar range. Coming up, 100 feet. Con sonar feet. regained contact on. Master 5, bearing 1, 0, 2. Okay. 
raise the radar mast. Raise the radar mast. Let's try and find the target. No radar detection on the Jang. Lower the radar mast. Not Come good. Dive raise the ESM mast. Raise all instruments. Mast. Let's see if we can get a detection. Nothing. Absolutely. Ah. Regained contact on Aha. Master 3, bearing Master two, 3, so one, the ESM three. mast found him. But whereabouts is it? Hard to say. Four, five, Let's fire on nine. this bearing. See whether this is accurate. Firing point procedures. Bearing 2, 1, 3. Range to enable 19,000 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 7. Shoot tube 7. Aye, sir. Lower all of your Lower instruments. The radar mast. I'm not going to watch the torpedo, I'm afraid. I need to keep an eye on where things are attacking me from. Bring us down to one zero zero feet. Make depth one zero zero feet. Dive by. Reload harpoon. What weapons have I got? Actually, reload a TASM. Thank you very much to Rick O'Connell. I have a lovely clip of Digby playing this game. May I post it in the chat? Yes, sir. I think I know the clip uh, you're talking about, so yes, please do. There we go, there's an MOSS, and there's the torpedo that's confused by it. Here goes the missile, there's the helicopter. Hopefully this is going to find its mark. The Tomahawk has a bit more of a range, so that's why I'm loading a Tomahawk. You bastard. Find your target. Let's point the bearing of the Jiang, heading 214. Come right to 214. Helm I. It's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. Doesn't look like it's found a target. Looks like it's just going to hit and sink. No, it looks like it's just going to hit the water. Come on, torpedo room, tube seven ready. Oh no, it's found something. Bang! It's hit home. It's found the ship. Excellent. Right, we're going to fire another harpoon to finish it off. Firing point procedures, tube eight, bearing two, one, three. Range to enable three point, yeah, 30,000 yards, pretty much. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 8. Shoot tube 8. Aye, sir. The game's up for that guy, we know where he is. Right, helm, change course. We want to get back to deeper water. Follow the merchant Gone. ship, helm. bearing. Steady In course. fact, let's turn away. Bearing two, zero, 084, zero, 084, please. Come left to. Zero, eight, four, helm, I. Reload a TASM in tube eight. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. There's the helicopter. There's the pillar of smoke. Weapon slightly off target. Hopefully it will make a turn on its own. I did accidentally flick the mouse when I tapped the button. So, I mean, hopefully the homing warhead will do the rest of the work, but if it doesn't, then we'll fire a, a Tomahawk anti-ship missile at it. I've got my ready on the finger ready on the decoy key. I'm hoping that this is going to make a turn last second. The fins on the missile are what's going to turn it. If it turns, hopefully it does. There we go, it's got it. It's made the turn. It is tracking the target. He's banging trouble now. It's coming in. It's going for a low sweep. It's going to hit it astern again. Here it comes. Con, torpedo room, tube eight, ready. Sweeping in. 
And impact. Con sonar lost contact. Master three. Blast bearing two. One, Let's get a look at the three. size of this contact guy. breaking up. Oh yeah, now that that's where the helicopter was launched from. That is a look at the fucking damage. Holy shit. Yeah, this is a big ship. Con the size no. of the hull and everything. Course. Tore an absolute hole in it. Taking on water astern, yep, didn't get away from me that easily. Right, we're going to take this opportunity to get the fuck out of here. We've got no nearby vessels, no nearby weapons, no aircraft, and no flooding. We are going to leave combat the vicinity of the Taiwan Strait. After action report, enemies engaged, a Jiang Hu, a Jiang Wei, a Dijang, many Jiangs, and a Sovamini. Weapons remaining, ADCAP 16, MOS 1, UGM Harpoon Missile 5, and we've got all 16 of our Tomahawks. Systems damaged was Tube 5, I believe, or Tube 4. Tube 4 is jammed, which is less than ideal. So, that's uh, mission complete. So, from Comsapac, which is uh, Command Submarine uh, Pacific, I believe it is. Um, mission update. Good to hear you intercepted and destroyed the enemy replenishment resources. Keep up the good work. Further orders to be transmitted on the downlink. Further orders to be transmitted on the downlink. <laughs> cool. Quiet Seas. 29th of August at 1800, newspaper was published. US warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including some around the East China Sea, in response to significantly reduced Chinese naval activity. Sources close to the Pentagon say that the war is taking a heavy toll on enemy naval operations and that their supply lines continue to be heavily strained. Recent NATO gains at sea have decreased the numbers of warships needed to maintain control the, sorry, needed to maintain control in several regions. Many vessels from these regions have been reassigned to other duties within the region. It's a very broad way of saying we've taken them somewhere else. Which seems strange to me. Surely if you reduce naval activity in a certain area, you should use that as some kind of strategic basis to make a push. Not that you really would want to make a push against the Chinese. I imagine on land they're a bit of a bit of a bastard, to be honest. Cool. Oh shit, this is a persistent campaign, that's right, yes, it's not just mission to mission, it's a campaign in which what we do literally affects the outcome of the war nearer. It's not like one mission here, one mission there. We'll be assigned missions, but they have an overall outcome on the war. Okay. Tankers carry fuel, tenders carry ammo and such food, that's the one. Excellent. Okay, so at zero uh, six hundred hours the next day, we get a mission mission from uh, Command Submarine Pacific. Tactical situation: satellite photos show that an enemy battle group, armed to the teeth with cruise missiles, is preparing to sail from Kamran. Intelligence estimates that they will make a conservative patrol within the vicinity of the Philippine Sea. Locate this group and sink as many ships as possible. Previous recon indicates the force will contain at least one or two ships armed with anti-ship cruise missiles. Consider these your primary targets. An enemy escort, sur sur an enemy escort of surface combatants and or attack submarines should be expected. Locate and sink the enemy strike group is our primary objective. Secondary objective is to locate and sink escorting ships if possible. To avoid detection from anti-submarine warfare patrols, and we are weapons free on all shipping. All Chinese shipping is still green light. So, that's the thing with this one. Sink as many ships as possible. Right, so a conservative patrol in the vicinity of the Philippine Sea. So let's get out of the strait here and get down to the Philippine Sea. Did it say where it was uh, casting off from? Review orders? South from Calm Ron. So whereabouts is that? crash into that. Okay, so if he's going from Kham Ran, he's going to come up through here in between Taiwan and the Philippines. So this will be where we make our intercept. I'm going to wait in the deep water. That's the South China Sea. This is the Philippine Sea. 
We've got a submarine coming out for us. We're going to take care of him first. In fact, no, here we go. Here's the raider group. Intercepted. They're moving very quickly. Right, Captain, we have a new sonar contact. Bearing 262. Designate Sierra 1. Exo reports depth is 050 feet. Heading 261. Speed is 5 knots. All hands to battle stations. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Rig ship for silent running. Let's immediately start identifying contacts. Sonar, take a sounding. Total water depth is 1900 feet. Sonar, new contact bearing. Two, Let's start five, with Sierra 2. Seven. Designated Sierra 2. Check warships. As it is a raider group. But we've got a merchant right off the bat. Mark. Con, sonar, Sierra, Sierra 1. Two Check is warships. As merchant. Warship. Mark. Sovermany. Con, sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as escort. Right. Raise the periscope on the bearing of the Sovermany 239. Let's go. Let's go for visual contact confirmation. Scope is awash. Down scope. Downscope. Raise the ESM mast. Raise the ESM mast. Sea state is too high. New contacts detected. Drop the ESM mast. Lower the ESM mast. Echo 3 and Echo 4 have been detected. Unknown of their origin or class, but we know that they're there. So at least four combatants, maybe some below surface combatants as well. Dive, take us down, please, to 300 feet. Make depth 300 zero, zero feet. Dive by. So we've got Echo 4 and Echo 3. ESM detected contacts around there. Mm. Chin scratch, chin scratch. Okay. So we're coming down. I don't want to stay close to the surface for too long. They're already screening the water with active sonar. Come back up to 200 feet, please. Make depth two, zero, zero feet, dive we have at least one Helix helicopter. This is going to be launched from the Sovereignty, because the Helix helicopter is a Russian helicopter that was bought by the Chinese. Which means this here Helix has likely been launched from the Sovereignty, the Russian warship. It likely, it's likely that they came together in some premium DLC package. Yeah, one ping only, Vasily. <laughs> cool. There's a, supposedly a merchant ship going overhead as well, which is good. We've got rain, like I say, high sea state. We're just below this very weak layer here, which should help mask our signature. Total noise, sorry, is 104 decibels, so it's absolutely screeching out here at the moment. Which is interesting. Master 3 is now on the cards. Now detected by sonar. Let's start detecting Master 3. Check warships, please. Looks like we've got a... We've potentially got a lock. No, it's not quite the Kara. A Luhu. DDG. Con sonar. Master 3 is classified as escort. CY1 missiles. We've got one of our missile boats. We're going to take the opportunity of the high sea state to fire on the bearing of the target without him really ever knowing we were here. We're going to go with passive homing. Firing point procedures. Bearing 269. Range to enable 10,000 yards. Ship ready. Tube ready. Fire tube 1. Shoot tube 1. Aye, sir. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally. Adjust course of the weapon to bearing 218. 9,000 yards. Course adjustment has been made. You pinged Lulu? Yeah, this is Lulu. <laughs> Luhu even. It's a Chinese dog. <laughs> yeah. Luhu. <laughs> right. What's this game about, uh, Lot? Lot Kiss, sir? It's about a theoretical Chinese invasion of Taiwan and the Spratly Islands. And we are playing a NATO submarine attempting to slow down the Chinese Navy so that the ground forces of NATO can make gains. Yeah, to pack on some weight, yeah. Make some gains! That's the one. Pump some iron. That's it. 
theoretical, yeah, well, it could could really happen, to be honest. Okay, activate the homing warhead and steer it in on the Luhu. Again, target solution is only 50% certain. Fire control, weapon acquired. Bing, 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 bing. It's found something. The passive homing warhead of the ADCAP torpedo has found the target, which means he's actually closer than it first appears. So we're going to down the Luhu. They're going to be searching for us pretty hard after this. Helm, bring us left to bearing 206. Come left to 205. Helm, I. 205. Echo 4 is now on the table as well. Let's try and identify Echo 4. It's got a very weak signature, but we can match up his lower end of the band. Looks like we've got us not quite a Jangwei, a Janghu FF. Star, lost contact. Master, one. Last bearing, two, three, eight. Contact faded. Contact faded. Either Jang Hu and the Lu Hu both seem to be traveling in formation in close proximity. Send another weapon. Firing point procedures. Bearing, two, seven, four. Range to enable 8,500 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube five. Shoot tube five. Aye, sir. Con sonar lost contact. Master, three. Last bearing, two, eight. Two. Contact breaking up. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally. Reload tube one. Con, helm, steady course. <laughs> Ever tried Stellaris? I got the game a couple of days ago and thought it would do well with you at its helm. No, I've never played Stellaris. It's never really caught my fancy. I'm, I'm quite, unfortunately, I'm a bit of a bit of a bit of a woman when it comes to games. I'm very particular, um, so it's one of those ones. I've been told to try out Frostpunk though. Uh, I've been told that's right up my street, and I did kind of look at it. But my problem was was replayability. Um, the game apparently has like a set narrative and doesn't have much room for sandboxy type play, like where you like stuff just happens randomly. It's more very sort of not that it's linear. Obviously, there's loads of choices you can make in Frostpunk, but it's not that open ended. It's like as soon as you beat the game, that's it. Like there's really no point in playing it again after that, except to maybe beat some previous achievements. Where's the sexist bell? That's it. I'm fickle, that's right. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Hearts of Iron worth getting. I've not played Hearts of Iron either. You'd have to you'd have to ask Digby, Mr. Tatham Water, whether Hearth, Hearts of Iron's worth getting. You buy a shit ton of those games and play once? Yep, pretty much. The devs are going to add endless sandbox modes. Well, until they do skeleton, um I will probably sit on the fence with it for a little bit. I'll certainly play it, I think, for the first time. Right, let's activate the warhead on weapon five. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, so that is going for the wreck of the Luhu. Let's steer it off. Jesus, that was close. So the Luhu died about there. Jang Hu is supposedly just a little bit behind it. The Sovereign is faded, remember? Look at that, he's taking a long time to go down. Oh, there we go. That's a bit cheaty, but we can kind of t determine that he's quite far away from the Luhu. Just because of how far away he is from the smokestack. He's travelling very slow. I kind of wish they'd do a hardcore version, like a hardcore mode where like you don't get to like almost I almost wish it would restrict you to your instruments similar to how Duskers do you know Duskers have you seen that game similar to how that re restricts you to your instruments I feel like a level of restriction would be pretty good on this or even like a co-op there we go we've got a target and it's not the Luhu so we've found something there's that merchant ship out on the water over there You miss Detective Phelps. Oh, Detective Phillips. Yeah, I know. Forced... First person perspective. Yeah, sorry. I thought it was first... Forced person perspective. I don't know. Makes you see things through a pair of eyeballs. Yeah. But because of how they've made this game, I can't imagine it without third person. Do you know what I mean? Like, literally, the whole game revolves around third person. I wish they'd make it so that you, you couldn't hop between targets quite as easily. I wish that was in... But, uh, you know, 
Beggars can't be choosers in this case. Right, the weapon's coming up nice and shallow. Contour, it's found its target. Bearing two, seven, eight. I'm going to let the weapon's counter countermeasures take care of searching for the target. It's an ADCAP torpedo, which means he should get in before the Jangu is able to make an evasive maneuver. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Weapon acquired eye. Coming back for him. Coming up shallow again. Con, sonar, lost Bang. contact. Master, four, last bearing, two, seven, nine, contact break. Where did that hit? Right on the bow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nose under almost immediately. Not one of the missile boats, however. Oh, no, it could be. No. No, that doesn't look like a missile boat. The Luhu is only just on its way to the bottom. It's got a long way to go. This is... This looks potentially like a missile boat. Yeah, look at that. All those missile racks. Yeah, this was a missile boat. The question is now, is that where is Master 1? Again, Master 2 is a merchant. Let's have a look. Let's see if it's... Is it a Chinese merchant ship? No. I'm not entirely sure which country that is. It's not... Not on target to be sunk, though. It's a very rough seas. Okay, the trick now is going after the Sovereign uh, dive, bring us up to four five feet, Make periscope depth. Feet, dive, dive. How deep is the water? Total water depth there, Ensign, is 1,900 feet at this point. What that is in your preferred unit of measurement, I have no idea. Maybe you'll try U-Boat when it comes out. It's supposed to be a hardcore version of this game. N I'm not sure about... Are you talking about U-Boot? Which is that, um, like, kind of game where you control the individual crew members on a German U-boat. If that's the case, then yes, I'll absolutely try that when it comes out. But for the moment, it's a bit like... <laughs> so, yeah. That is the flag of the Marshall Islands. Okay, good to know. U-boat has been renamed U-boat. Okay, interesting. Probably some kind of copyright flim-flam with Das Boot or something. Okay, we're up at four or five feet. Raise the ESM mast. Raise the ESM mast. Let's attempt to detect him electronically. Sovereign has been detected there. Okay, updated course. Okay. Lower the ESM mast. Lower the ESM mast. Raise the ESM Sorry. mast. Raise it again. No Lower detection this time. Mast. Okay, target. Let's have a look. He should be around bearing 043. 043 at 10,000 yards. Up scope. Con, dive at 4, 5 feet, dive by. 4, 5 feet, aye. So around bearing 26. Ooh. That's bad. Scope is a wash. Oh, that's the merchant ship. What bearing is this guy? 264. Con, torpedo room, tube 5 ready. No eyes on anything on the horizon. Oh no. There he is, got him. Down scope. Down scope. Make depth 300 zero, zero feet. Depth 300 zero, zero feet, die by. Ballast is fully flooded. That helicopter was a bit closer for comfort. Who's off then? Have you ever heard of Silent Hunter? I have met Bourne. I, it's one of those ones. I'm not a huge fan of Silent Hunter. I know it's a shame to say, but the the the, the first few get that it's one of those ones. If you played the first couple of games, like Silent Hunter Three, is some is heralded as the best one, if you like. Um, then you can go back and play that from, like, nostalgia heroine kind of thing. But as somebody who didn't play Silent Hunter 3, the game is too old for me to go back and enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? It's just too clunky, too too old, you know what I mean? Too old, I feel like. Marion Tramp. Um, the fucking, yeah, so it's one of that I can't go back and enjoy Silent Hunter 3. So I tried Silent Hunter 5, which is just isn't that good. Like, it's really buggy, really messy. Yeah, nah. Nah, doesn't do it for me. 
Did you know that Post has, has another test weekend today? Yes, I'm playing it with uh, Digby, and I believe Soviet Womble at 8 o'clock this evening. No, you're not too hot, I'm being told off now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, so the Solver Mini, we're going to fire a weapon at. So, firing point procedures, bearing 2, two sorry, 252, two, range to enable 5.5 thousand yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 1. Shoot tube 1, aye sir. Okay, weapon is run cleared the tube and is running normally. We're going to activate it and we're going to run it to the target. There we go, it's going up to the surface. How many hours until postscriptum happens? It's in uh, six hours, I think. Yep, six hours, well, five and a half hours time, eight o'clock. Um, it will be going live. I don't know whether we're playing it smack on eight o'clock. These things always release like 10 minutes, 15 minutes late. Just how, how it is. Um, so if that's the case, we'll, we'll play it when it lands. Now, coincidentally, this is quite cool because tomorrow, um, my better internet arrives. Tomorrow my better internet arrives, which means I'm able to um, uh, hopefully stream the game at 1080p, 60fps, with a rather disgusting bitrate. So um, that's the hope anyway. We should really get some uh, some good footage, if you like, of Postscriptum, and you should be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. So that's looking good. Uh, a face cam, Lord? Probably not. I've, I've got I've got a face for radio, as it were. It's not. It's one of those ones. Like I don't think it really needs a face cam. I think <laughs> if the thing, the voice is the selling point. If I show you the face, the magic dies. <laughs> I'm not a real person anymore. I played MLG Flappy Bird. Yep, yep. You've lost your humanhood status. Right, so the weapon is now tracking to the sovereignty. I'm just sitting here with my sort of my hands on my on my belly, on my chest, just just lay, lent back in my chair, waiting for all the sensors and instruments to do it for me. Fire uh, control, so, weapon acquired. In fact, I'm so confident, I'm going to leave the game running and go and get a drink of water. Look at that confidence, folks. Please don't Con, play. Sonar regained contact on master one <laughs> bearing two four eight. Yeah, con sonar torpedo in the water, that's right. Ooh, some balls right there. God damn right I have trouble sitting in my chair, my blood. Sorry, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's see here. So he's gone active. The solution marker isn't 100%, but the torpedo's found the target. Is he going to have time to evade? No, it's right up his nose. He's banging trouble here. Weapons turning in on him. Is he going to get to drop a countermeasure in time? Sonar, Doesn't look like it. Oh, just, just. Okay, he waited to the last possible second. Looks like we've got a decent captain in the Sovereignty here. Probably has a Russian advisor on board, knowing us. Which the Russians will uh, undoubtedly deny, as they do. Q is 20 IQ. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Mm. Oh, people having the revelation that I'm only 20 years old. Yes, I was born in Good Hope Hospital on the 29th of August, 1997. Um, my claim to fame is that I was born two years after Princess Diana died, and ever since have been a bad omen on the family. <coughs> right. So the weapon's turning around again. Uh, Sovereign is moving there. Two, Not too bad. Five, I'm going to steer the weapon through the countermeasures. Oh yeah. Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. You're from eighty seven. Jesus, he's like a dinosaur blade. Oh god. See light, he's hundred and fifty. No. <coughs> anyway. <Weapon acquired. laughs> the torpedo's confused, it's alright, we're steering it through the countermeasures. He's trying to lay a web of uh of decoys, but it's not really working for him. Nineteen eighty nine. All the got the all the old fogies in. Eighty eight. Seventy seven. Dudrick. Holy shit. Con sonar. Noise maker bearing. 
Kaboom. I know, youngling, yes. You should look up to your elders. <laughs> Brilliant, 95. Jesus hell, it's turning into an ASL stream. Right, okay. Uh, excellent. So, I believe that's all contacts dead and buried. We've got aircraft nearby, supposedly. Scanning the horizon. There he is. Okay, dive, take us down to uh, a deep depth of 1,200 feet. Deep Test depth, depth of this one, submarine two, is 1,600 zero, feet. feet We're going to go deep in an attempt to uh, reduce our signature to the enemy combatants in the helicopter, and then we're going to slink away. Doesn't that make Wombo your elder? Yes, unfortunately it does. He's like 30-odd, I'm 20. Apparently we have the same... I don't know, we both channel the... Ma I don't know. Apparent, apparently I've been, des I've been described as a... Uh, oh, hello. As a radio man, I get the idea of not wanting people to see your face. My company just forced me to put my picture and bio on our website and I'm all... No one cares what I look like, but branding is apparently still a thing. Still, enjoy your day, M8. M8. See, I told you, it's Tate Mars in chat. I told you, it's it's T8 Mars. It's T8. Edna says it's so. Edna says, Edna says T8. It's T8. It's not Tate Mars. You're making it up. No, but thank you very much there for the five pounds. And uh, yeah, I don't get the whole putting your face on things. Like, it's the like the voice. Uh, I guess in the case of you, sir, your voice has become your brand in the same way that um, <coughs> live bug fixing and um, sort of sub quality content uh, is is has become my thing. Um, so it's one of those. Well, I think that that should define you as your brand. Kind of having like a wicked like uh, like no, like you don't have to put your face on things. Doesn't no, no, doesn't no, it doesn't work. Has he gone to bed? Well, we can only hope, Jules Spark, that he watches the VOD and curses loudly um, at, at what we've said here. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I, can't, I forget where Tate, Tate is from. Old uh, Catherine Tate. Old Catherine T8. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where he is. Yeah, we all know. Can't put your voice on a t-shirt though, it's true. You can't, I'm not having my, would you buy a t-shirt of my face? Like, I think that's a bit weird. Like, uh, like not even like some kind of, like just my face, just JPEG'd onto the middle of a shirt. Like, <laughs> I think that, uh, that would become, what a, what a meme top that would be. No thank you. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, All right, there we go. Well, yeah, we'll open a merch store with just pictures of my face on certain things. With, like, fucking, like, cups, like, mugs. And it's shoes, one on each shoe. <laughs> what is fucking hell? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, that's amused me a bit there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what do you like, chat? What do you like? Oh, God, there's still aircraft nearby. Let's speed up time. We're down at 12, uh, 1,200 feet now. Hopefully we can just slink away. Picture of a U-boat uniform on a t-shirt, yeah. A mug of my mug, yeah. Mug of my mug. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's a poem. A plague on both your houses. Mug of my mug. Grumpy Pirate, TM. Trademarked. He's trademarked the Grumpy Pirate. Um, thank you very much, mate. Cheers, bro, for the uh, tier one sub there. Thank you kindly, sir. Yeah, we should have like a, uh, a like a, I don't know, like a, almost like a, not a caricature, but like some kind of, you know, artist's rendition of me sitting lazily at a computer with force, born, oh, born, to, yeah. born to stream, forced to work. That's the one. Or something like that. Console some sexy Quebec undies, mate. <laughs> some slightly tired zero, boxers three, then. Six, contact, faded. contact faded, merchant's gone. Yep. I need a submarine with my face on it. What, like, what, like a Thomas the Tank Engine rendition. Like the whole fucking like sonar dome, is just a like a warp stretch picture of my face, <laughs> and then like this the active sonar is me just screaming. Con sonar switching to active search. 
Oh, that's, that's terrible. What about a bra with two of your faces over the cups? Yes. Even You know what? Perfect. I'd wear that. <laughs> yep. We call upon the wonderful Vu Vu Dingo for this rendition. Please, God, no. <laughs> I hope this never makes its way to her. If we can avoid it. Excellent. Right. I think we're... No, I think the aircraft is still tracking us. I get the impression we are being stalked by the aircraft. Okay, we're going to change course, try and throw it off the scent. Helm, can we make for open water? We're more open than we're already in. Come left bearing 127. Come left to 127. Helm, I... Let's speed up time again. Con, Helm, steady course. Do you know that there are more airplanes in the sea than submarines in the sky? I, I, John, I'd call that a fact. I'd say there is nothing wrong with the logic of that. That is a hundred... What he has said there is a hundred... Undisputably a hundred percent true. A space marine key fob that screams like a little girl when your phone rings. It's a thunder hammer! <laughs> yeah, yeah, not my proudest moment, that. Have you ever tried, or ver tried, the fourth Silent Hunter game? It's a lot more stable than the fifth game, and like two or three years newer than the third? I, uh, I could give it a go. I might even have it, to be fair. I think I bought like a bundle of Silent Hunter games. Can we have Quebec branded glasses? Oh, what would we call them? What would we call Quebec branded glasses? Would we just have them as Quebec? Q specs or something. Q specs. Oh, God, no. That sounds too incredibly cheesy. God, wouldn't it... Oh, there we go. Game's dropped out of high speed again. It's trying to tell me that stuff's happening. He specs, yeah. Twat frames. Monocues! Yes! Monocues, I like that. Q spectacles. Q vex savers. He specs savers, I like that. Bex, bex specs. Frankie, Frankie wins. Bex specs, mate. Fuck yeah. Beck Specs. I'll get on. I'll get on the phone. I'll get on the phone to Guernsey, the uh, fucking the head office, uh, head office of Spec Savers. I'll tell him, lads, I've got a brand deal. I've got, I've got ten pounds in my wallet. We can. I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs> right. Bex Specs. I love that. Specs that attract bears, yeah. Specs oh, that um, yeah. get covered in honey or something. Uh, if it's a honey bear, only attracts honey bears. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing zero nine zero. Right, take us down, please. Crash dive. Make turns for three five knots. Maneuvering eye. No weapons found us. See uh, the fucking. Helicopters in this game are fucking bullshit. Right. Drop a decoy. Where even is it? Look at that shit. Is this an air launch? It's gotta be an air launch. Look at that nonsense. Look at it! Right, okay. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. They've done Bearing two zero, on me. Seven, five. Well, at least he hasn't got any more to fucking drop. Feet. Can I get a knuckle going? Con, knuckle formed. I can. Right, let's go for an emergency surface. Let's drop a Bring decoy. Let's not rig the ship. For ultra quiet. <laughs> I'm hitting all of the buttons. The windscreen wipers are going. Make turns for three, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing 1,000 feet. We've got to get higher. Passing 900 feet. Passing 800 feet. Passing 700 feet. Passing 600 feet. Passing 500 feet. Level off Con the boat. Sonar. We are cavitating. Passing 300 feet. Are the weapons coming up to get me? That's the question. No. Nope. Passing 200 feet. We've successfully evaded them. What we've done there... Make turns for five. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. What we've done here is that we've changed depth too quickly. 
And now the torpedo's sonar heads are unable to detect us. We're going to stay ahead of the head flank cavitating. We are cavitating. Just because there's a good chance the torpedoes will find us again as we get further away from them. There we go. Torpedoes found us again. Oh no, it's staying down there. It's going to come up and find us. It always does. And there we go. One torpedo's on us. Decoy's done nothing. Let's get a knuckle. Knuckle formed. Knuckles done nothing. Okay, it's come up to surface. Crash dive. Take us deep. Passing 200 feet. 200 feet, I. Passing 300 feet. 300 feet, I. Passing 400 feet. 400 feet, I. No longer cavitating. 500 feet. Passing 600 feet. 600 feet, I. Passing 700 feet. 700 feet, I. Passing 800 feet. 800 feet. Passing 900 feet. 900 feet. Passing 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet. Passing 1,100 feet. 1,100 feet. Passing 1,200 feet. 1,200 feet. Take the bubble off the boat. 1,300 feet. 1,300 feet. Passing 1,400 feet. 1,400, I. Passing 1,500 feet. 1,500 feet. Thanks for the stream. I've got to go back to writing. Drill Spark, you take care of yourself. All right. Yeah, take care, mate. Thanks very much. Weapons chased us down to this depth. Dropping a decoy. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, five knots. If you had the other submarine, you could have. Oh, there we go. It's run out of puff. Slow us down to a head one third. Five, Weapons and nine. aircraft still nearby. Let's go ahead ten knots. Let's Make turn left. Four. Bearing One, zero, six, zero, six. Knots. Change Maneuver course. Get him thinking. Reload a Mark 48 in tube one. Must be sick after that roller coaster. Yeah, you got to hold on. Con, helm, it's like course. um, you know, you, you hear the dive alarm, and then the uh, the 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 fucking the captain comes over there and. Uh, Crash dive! Crash dive! All crew to positions! And then, like, the little disclaimer at the end. Please keep your hands if you decide to go at all times. <laughs> and then just, whoosh! Down it goes. Fucking crash dive! Everyone hang on, it's like a white knuckle ride. It's Alton Towers up in that, up in that shit. <laughs> Perfect. That's the one, 90 degree dive. I fucking hate the aircraft in this. It's so annoying uh, when the objective is done and you got to wait for those choppers and planes to fuck off. Yep. I want to get off Quebec's wild ride. Yeah, Quebec's wild ride. Yep. We'll brand a, the wire the wire guy wire guided men. Con torpedo room two point ready. Decent name for like a band. The wire guided men. That's decent. Do a barrel roll. I don't have the appropriate surfaces for an for a barrel roll, sir. Whale hunt when? It will happen when it happens, SWAT. Shoot some people. There's nothing to shoot. Any news for emotes? Absolutely nothing. I've, uh, I'm, I'm going to PM Boo Boo at some point today. I understand she's still quite busy with other stuff. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, like, foaming at the mouth, like, where are they? You know what I mean? Like, she's, uh, I'm happy for her to take as long as she needs for him. Uh, we, we've survived this long. Um, so we'll see where they where they come or whatever. Uh, I mean, like I say, I haven't spoke to about them in March. I should probably just slide in there and go. I think they're still being worked on. You're not totally forgotten, them, have you? But hey ho, it's one of those ones. Like I say, should, ha happy for them to take as long as as they need. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely fine with them. Money money comes and goes. Females come and go for guys, but aircraft always love you. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Lemberg, Mr. 92 there with the tier 1 submarine. Thank you very much, mate. Send her an active sonar ping. Yeah, like an ear rape active sonar, then followed by where are the emotes? Where are they? <laughs> Nuclear sub, yes. Yeah, that's the one. Nuclear sub. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a perfect. That's a perfect name, actually. That's excellent. That's a perfect name for like the different sub levels, isn't it? So rather than tier one sub, you've got like diesel sub, then you've got um, I don't know something else sub. D 
Well, you got, well you, you've only got two, haven't you? There's three sub boxes or three subtypes, tier one, tier two, and tier three. But you've only got diesel and uh, what's it? Uh, you've got you've only got diesel and uh, nuclear. I don't think there are any other ones. I, th I think the Got the Gotland class submarine, developed by, I think it's Sweden, one of the Scandinavian countries. <laughs> Um, it uses like a Sterling engine, so we could use like a Stern nuclear human-powered pedlo, pedlo, yes, pedlo sub, wooden barrel, yes, Korean sub, man-powered diesel and nuclear. <laughs> it's Sweden, yes, that's the one. Electric sub, the Tesla, the Elon, Elon Musk. I don't know how. I don't know how um, Mr. Elon hasn't released a line of aftershave called Elon's Musk. Like, I don't know how... It, I feel there's a missed, op missed opportunity there. I think... I don't know how he hasn't. Anyway. Still that fucking aircraft. Right. First submarine attempts were pedal subs, yeah. Right. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's come off to the right here. Let's again, just do sort of the, the zigzag. We're speeding up time to try and get away, but it's not really helping. <clears throat> yes, he's busy sending cars into space and making flamethrowers. That's it. But what, what does that smell like? And I think that's the market he hasn't tapped yet, to be honest. Can you lay on the bottom just to wait it out? What, just like a flounder fish, just lie against the bottom? No. Um, we'll probably, like, crush the hull at the bottom, cause leaking. Just surface, get all the crew out with rifles, shoot at anything that flies. Do you reckon they have weapons on board a submarine? I, I'm sure I read an article somewhere that no one except maybe, I think, the weapons officer? Or maybe the captain or something, and even then it's only, like, a sidearm. Like, I don't think the crew have personal defence weapons on there, because people, they go a bit stir-crazy when they're under the water for like three, four, five, six months at a time, and so they decided firearms probably weren't best. It smells like ozone. Pure burning ozone. It smells like burning ozone. Officers have pistols. Yeah, I thought, I thought so. Yeah, there's no bazookas down there or anything. No grenade launchers. I, can, I, can't, I can't see why, though, to be honest. There's no, I, I like a nice little. Oh, hang on. Beep, beep, beep. Here he is. He's right behind me. He's dropping dipping sonar. Let's turn away from that. Helm come right bearing 128. Helm right two. 128. Helm don't, don't ask about the teddy bear on the boat. Yes. Uh, God only knows. Well, to be fair, you're not exactly expecting to be boarded on a submarine. Maybe. May, you don't know. Maybe they'll get a really long ladder. Yeah, it's one of those ones. Pistol officers have pistols, and they can shoot the NCOs. What for fun? <laughs> if the journey's taking Con, too long. Helm, steady course. Yeah. Do they have any swords down there? Yeah. I think they've. Uh, they, they need swords. Personal defense against whales. Yeah. Do you have it? Do they ha Does the submarine have pistol ports like they do on uh, World War Two like uh, tanks? That like little like things that you can. Uh, uh, aside from the absolutely crushing pressure, that you know the, the the pretty much the the jet of water that would shoot in would be able to cut steel like a high pressure fucking like water cutter. Um, but you know, in practice, it might be quite useful. Harpoons, yes. Do they, can we Captain Ahab a whale or a ship, like like a like a like a fisherman that's caught like a, a fish too big for him? Can we harpoon the bottom of a ship and then drag it under? Ah, yes. I think that we're uh, opportunities here. They'd have a few armed security in case of someone going loopy. They probably would. I know that submarines have a brig. Every every ship needs a brig, even like civilian ships. I guess maybe not like a fishing boat, you'd, you'd struggle, you'd probably have to wrap someone up in a fishing net and then padlock it until you got back to port or something, but like, cruise ships and stuff have a brig, just in case, you know, you murder someone and they need to lock you up. Why not disguise it as, or, or even place the sub in a large whale suit and, and use it as camouflage? That's a good idea. Oh, bugger me. Leave me the fuck alone.
Make them live in the hold with the crabs, yeah. See, I'm somebody that, like, I do get, like, a little bit seasick. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, I've not totally got sea legs. You know what I mean? I'm, I live in the Midlands, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't really do boats. Uh, and, like, you see, like, there's, there's obviously... I think everyone at some point in their life has watched it in some measure. Deadliest catch. Oh, my God. I would be throwing it like a fountain. Honestly. Oh, God. The amount of fucking... Oh, listing that they do. It's unbelievable. Oh, oh God, no. It's just, honestly, it makes you nauseous just thinking about it. The fucking chopper has to run out of fuel at some time. Eventually, I'm hoping. <laughs> Such a green one, yeah. On what depths is it safe for people in the submarine to come out and swim to the surface? You are referring to, Jackie, as uh, you are referring to something known as escape depth. And um, in this submarine here, it is set to 600 feet, if I actually slow the game down here for you. Uh, these uh, little doohickeys here, these are hatches for emergency buoys that go up to the surface to uh, show where the ship has sunk. I believe the same hatches also are used for allowing crew using special pressure diving suits. Not like diving suits, not like that fucking the diver from Scooby Doo with his old like metal brass suit thing. But no, like a special, you know, because when you leave the boat at 600 feet, there's a hell of a lot of water trying to break its way into your rib cage. So you do need a special pressure suit to stop, to stop that from happening, to stop you just going <laughs> and being folded like a piece of paper. Um, so you'd you'd want to um, yeah you'd want to wear that and you can escape to the surface. Anything deeper than that, then I believe the hatch is not able to keep the water out of the submarine and therefore it is unable to open because it would flood the boat. So 600 feet is it. So if you take on water lower than 600 feet, then you're buggered. And that's what happened with the USS Thresher, uh, believe it or not. Uh, the story goes with the USS Thresher, or at least the theory is, because the problem is, once a submarine sinks, it's very difficult to do like an air crash investigation, or a sub-crash investigation, because all of the stuff is usually a few thousand feet down, where it's inaccessible. And typically what happens is, when um, a sub gets past its crush depth, when it eventually does crush, it absolutely folds. In a single visceral instant, the ship wham! Collapses in on itself. Everyone on board is instantly killed. Instantly. If, if they weren't killed already by flooding or whatever. And um, the ship, normally what happens is, I mean, in the case of the USS Thresher, the implosion of the ship was so violent, it was a submarine, not, not dissimilar to this one, much older, but the, 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 the imploding of the ship was so violent with the USS Thresher that the only thing left was a series of uh, steel panels that comprised the outside of the hull. There was nothing resembling the ship left, there were just pieces of sheet metal. The, the, it was so violent that it literally obliterated it. Um, yeah, what happened with the USS Thresher was is that they um, they tried to create a new class of submarine, um, but they didn't address problems during the initial testing phases of the submarine, and what it did was it went down to its test depth, which is the deepest depth that the boat is meant to be able to go without having trouble. Um, it's not crush depth, bear in mind, it's just test depth. Test depth is how deep you can go, um, that, that, that the engineers say that the boat can go. Uh, but the problem was was that the Russians were obviously building up their own um, submarine fleet and the Americans wanted to push this out early. They wanted to push it out, you know, like a game that's not ready for release. It just wasn't ready yet. And um, they did a test where they took it down to test depth and they were unable to surface. And what happened was being down at that depth for such a long period of time started to cause leakage on the boat and the boat gradually started to fill with water. And what happened was, was that the ballast, the um, basically the equal pressure in the boat started to tip in the favour of negative, which meant the boat started to sink, even though the ship was attempting to rise. Oh, yeah. And it went down and down and down and down and then whoom, folded like a deck of cards and, uh, and was never, never seen or heard from again. And from that point, or, that point onwards, 
the Thresher class submarine, the Thresher class, not the Thresher itself, but the Thresher class submarine was renamed to the Permit class submarine, a submarine that you can play in cold waters. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Mr. Silver Krev for the tier one sub there. That's very kind of you. Was there crew on board? Yes, uh, the, it was. A, it had a full complement of crew. I forget how much it was. Over a hundred uh, seamen all all died instantly. Basically, what happened was was that there was a surface ship above the boat. Basically, it was like a not a recovery vessel, but it was a a, a, a ship that was. I forget. I forget the exact. Like I'm just going vaguely from memory here. The ship was tethered, literally, with a physical telephone line to the ship above to monitor, obviously, how its first test depth dive was going. And uh, according to the, the 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 ship that was monitoring, the phone line started to get really staticky and really crackly, before communication was lost. And then it turns out the ship had gone to the bottom. It had sunk. It had crushed. Very, very scary. There was another incident of a submarine sinking um, called the USS Scorpion. It was a skipjack submarine. I've mentioned it uh, at times before, and it was, uh, yeah, it was a very, very, a very similar scenario. Um, as far as I can remember, and uh, there's a fellow on YouTube called Jive Turkey, um, J I V E Turkey, um, who did a, a analysis of the USS Scorpion sinking. And I, I thoroughly, if you're interested in it, I thoroughly recommend you open it in a different tab and, and watch it after we finish up here. There we go, we're out. Leave combat. Um, because it's a very interesting analysis of the sinking of the Scorpion and the mysterious circumstances in which it sank. There was a, basically a range of possible sinkings, but because the ship ends up so close to the bottom, there's no real way to um, determine the cause of sinking. Are you a submarine enthusiast? No, um, I just know a little bit about submarines, mostly through playing this game. You tend to find that stuff like this is sort of interesting to learn about. For some people, it's maybe, you know, Second World War, armoured doctrine and tanks. For some people, it's aircraft, like the, uh, the, the typhoons or the, uh, you know, different bombers throughout the Cold War or whatever. And then there's submarines, and unfortunately, it's, it's a, part of, a part of history that's sort of... You know, they, they, they do their job, they're meant to be sort of stealthy and, and not noticed, and as a result, as on a wider field, if you like, they're not really out there in sort of mainstream sort of pop culture, if you like, as a, as, 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 as a mode of warfare kind of thing. Everyone knows they exist, sure, submarines exist, but they, if they do their job well, you'll never hear about them. And that's, that's part of the charm, I guess, of using them in the first place. Yeah, the Kursk as well, that's another example of a submarine sinking. A Russian one, that was an Oscar class. And an international effort to try and uh, recover it. Right, so, uh, Com Sub Pacific. Commander uh, Submarine Pacific, excellent job, Commander. Your neutralization of this high priority target will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder Trans Pacific convoys. Since PAC sends regards to you and your crew. Um, I think that stands for Commander-in-Chief Pacific, that's the one. Commander-in-Chief Pacific awaits your additional orders on this downlink. Curious. Okay, ah, oh, we actually got a medal here, nice. The Secretary of the Navy, Washington. The Secretary of the Navy expresses his heartfelt congratulations and takes great pleasure in awarding the Bronze Star Medal to Commander Quebec, Commanding Officer of the USS Seawolf SSN-21. Citation. Commander Quebec is cited for extraordinary heroism in action against the enemies of the United States of America on the 30th of August 2000. His unwavering resolve and self-sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. That's the one. Bronze. Bronze star. There's plenty more medals where that came from. If we stick to our guns and we keep doing the job well. Oh, hydrate bot. I need to have got through 240 milliliters. You got a medal for the merch store idea, yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so safe transit by convoys. Cargo ships from North America and Japan continue to ferry goods into the region with minimal losses. This has been attributed to efficient cooperation amongst Allied naval forces. The convoy system worked in World War I and World War II, and it still works today, the spokesman for the Pentagon has said. Meanwhile, in the region, food and material shortages have failed to materialise in the unoccupied territories. 
Authorities urge civilians or citizens not to make runs on the banks but instead show restraint so that the financial system can remain functional despite the ongoing conflict. Because, yeah, some, again, some of you younger people will know that um, obviously the banks are what's essentially funding the war, if you like. The, the government turns to the banks and goes, fam, hook us up with a you know, few, few million, few billion. And the bank goes, sure, fam, if you pay it back later with interest. And the government goes, yes, bro, we'll do that. And um, essentially what can happen is, is that the bank, if it goes into liquidation for whatever reason, if, if loads of people withdraw all of their money at the same time in the fear that the economy will crash because of the war, then you end up with a bank that's got no money. <laughs> and the bank then can't fund itself or the war effort. And it means the financial system really struggles. So that's a very dumbed down version of it. It goes much, much deeper than that. But um, in essence, that's, that's what goes wrong. So they urge you not to withdraw money in the state of war, in the state of warfare. Many people do. Many people go straight to like mattress hoarding. But if you can show restraint, do. Right. Yeah, unless you're Greece. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we should have our next mission coming in the plumbing. Okay, so com sub pack. Commander in Chief Pacific Fleet sends us a message on the 30th of August at 1800 hours. Tactical situation. Intel reports that a wolf pack of enemy diesel electric attack submarines will sail within the next 24 hours and attempt to deploy to the South China Sea. It is believed that the Chinese intend to reinforce their surface assets in the area, forming an effective barrier defense. Once deployed, this wolf pack will be a major threat to future allied operations. Thus, you must find and eliminate this threat before it becomes one. Intelligence believes the pack may consist of two submarines, which may be a mix of either Foxtrot, Romeo or Kilo class submarines, all of which will be provided by the Russians as the Russians produce those class of submarine. Locate and sink the enemy submarines. There are no secondary objectives and again we are free on Chinese merchant shipping. I'm just going to go for a wee briefly and we'll get back and we'll shoot some submarines. probably going to be my last mission um, partly because we've been going for uh, just over two hours now and I like to keep the VODs um, around the two hour mark if you know two to three hours um, because it basically if you live stream for like 12 hours um, you you basically make the the VOD the video on demand the people who couldn't make it you basically make it pretty much impenetrable like nobody wants to watch a 12 hour VOD like, nobody has that much time. Like, the nice thing about live streams is that you can drop in and out and it's live and everything like that. But if you play for, like, however long, like, the, no one's no one's going to watch the VOD back. So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? So you should really break it down into two-hour gaps or two-hour segments and kind of mix up which game you play. Keep it variety, as it were. You can cut the VODs into little pieces, yeah, but then <laughs> if, if I'm going to start cutting VODs into little pieces, then I might as well, you know... <sighs> Might as well just do YouTube at that point. I said, and loads of people like, yes, you should. I'm like, oh, 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 all right. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing with YouTube is that it takes ages to do stuff. I mean, uh, obviously it's a bit of a meme that Soviet takes so long with his, and I wouldn't be doing it to that level of polish, God knows. But like, just short of literally just taking like, huh. the thing is, is like, for example, Edberg does YouTube. He's got 107,000 followers on his YouTube account now. And um, the thing is with that, I hit my desk here as I say it, is that because he plays PUBG, 20 minutes a game, about that, 25 minutes, um, if he has a really good match, he's able to take that match and upload it because it's a very definitive start point and stop point. What would I upload? These massive two and a half hour cold waters videos? No, there's probably not much point in that. Not to put it on YouTube because they're already here on Twitch. Like You might as well cut it down. 
I mean, he can cherry pick the best ones, but cherry picking a single mission out of this, that's not really what Cold Waters is about. I mean, I could definitely break them down and put them onto YouTube, but again, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to do YouTube, you should sort of record it for YouTube. Do you know what I mean? Because anybody who's watching the YouTube video back doesn't get the same level of Twitch interaction that you can see here, unless I had like a scrolling chat sort of overlaid on the window, because obviously they're not going to see the chat. So it's a bit like, mm, funny scare compilations, or bunny scare compilations, whale hunting montage, yes, all of that good stuff. But yeah, it's one of those ones, that's, that's why I've not done YouTube, or do YouTube, it's just like, it just doesn't really fit my content, I guess, which is just me lazily waffling on instead of actually getting on with the thing that he said he was supposed to do at the two hour mark, which is sing some submarines. So, again, just to recap on the intelligence, we need to go to the South China Sea. Doesn't say where they're coming from. An attempt to deploy in the South China Sea. Yep, doesn't say where they're coming from, just that they're going to the South China Sea. So we need to sneak into the South China Sea. I would guess they're coming from Shantou. There's a decent port there. The trick... is to see how it goes. There's like a shelf there. Let's see if any ships penetrate the South China Sea. They could come from Canran as well. Let's see if there's any submarines transiting at high seats, high speed down here. There's a ship stopped there. Summary. Wouldn't be that one. We've sent 40,000 tons so far. Looking for submarines. Is that these ones? Let's sink this one if he's still here. No, he's moved on. It's no longer accurate. Hang on. Yep, we've been detected. Anti-submarine warfare is flooding us. Okay, Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 249. Designate Sierra 1. Okay, so what happened there was that an enemy... Um, an, uh, what's known as a maritime air patrol, or a maritime patrol aircraft, an MPA, a plane outfitted with sensors capable of detecting submarines while in flight, has flown over us and picked us up. And he has reported our position two different uh, anti-submarine patrols in the area. So two separate warship fleets and a submarine fleet have all responded to the call. And this is the submarine fleet that we are now engaging. So a hostile submarine dedicated for anti-submarine warfare has uh, come to engage us. So reasonably well equipped, you'd think. Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 249, designate Sierra 1. Exo reports depth is 600 feet. Heading is 228, speed is 20 knots. Local conditions are quite bad, overcast with high wind, which means the sea state is going to be quite rough. And a very weak surface duct and thermal layer at 243 feet. <laughs> Ram ramming for the lulls, yeah. Um, okay, high seed, yeah, that's it. That's it. Weird. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, cool, let's uh, all hands to battle stations, rig ship for silent and running. Uh, sonar, take a sounding. Total water depth is one nine zero. Well, one nine zero zero feet. One nine fourteen feet. Um, total sea state is eighty eight decibels. Not quiet. Not loud. It's sort of in between, which means we are dealing with a very quiet ship. We're going to hold our current course, slow down to five knots, and see whether or not the target reveals himself. Now, what you've got to remember about hunting submarines of an anti-submarine warfare fleet is that the submarine our new contact bearing one, Exhibit nine, A nine, designated is hunting one. us, which means he's taking it slow Con and he's trying to detect us. Bearing two, one, zero, designated Sierra two. So two hostile contacts. Let's check submarines. Very loud on Sierra one. He's likely very close to us. Looks like civilian shipping. Could be a merchant. Okay, so Sierra 1 looks like civilian shipping. Merchant. Mark. Okay, Con good. Sonar. Sierra 1 is classified as merchant. Sierra 2 looks like it could be civilian shipping as well. Very curious. What was that noise? I heard like, doom, then. That was really weird. Uh, actually, I actually have no idea what that was. Looks like another merchant ship. Con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as merchant. Now, those aren't the ships that came here for us. Somewhere in this water is a very quiet 
Russian submarine. Let's take a look at passive noise. So let's take a look for very quiet submarines. We could have a Yasin, very modern Russian nuclear attack submarine. Very modern. If it's a Yasin, we're, we're in big trouble. Big trouble. It could well be. We've also got an Akula, equally dangerous. Sierra, equally dangerous. Victor. Could, basically, we're learning that it could really be any submarine, to be honest. The entire fleet is very, very quiet. Okay, well, it's so... what? Okay. <laughs> A Ming. <laughs> Not our problem. Okay, let's return to South China Sea. Okay, so another contact. Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing 294. Designate Sierra 1. Depth is 600 feet, heading 252. Speed is 20 knots. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Sierra 1, close proximity off the starboard side. Sonar, take a sounding. Total water depth is again 1900 feet. Let's begin servicing Sierra 1. Very strong signature shining through there as we slow down. Again, looks like that of civilian Con, shipping. Contact bearing 295. Designated Sierra 2. Civilian shipping mark. Con, Sierra sonar, 2. Sierra close proximity. Is this is a warship. Merchant. Yep, we've got a Luda 3 mark. Con, sonar, Sierra, Sierra 3. Two is classified as looks escort. like civilian shipping again, or some sort of merchant ship. Stand corrected. Warships mark. Jengu mark. Con sonar Sierra 3 is classified as escort. Jengu, FF, Donkey, Type 81 torpedoes. Luda 3, bigger threat, much bigger threat. Three and a half and 3.2 thousand tons. Comes with a full outfit of missiles, torpedoes, and depth charge systems okay we're gonna take us down please dive take us down to eight zero zero feet get ready to fire on the bearing of the target Luda Sierra 2 set torpedo to surface search firing point procedures bearing 294 295 range to enable 3,000 yards ship ready tube ready fire tube 5 Aye, sir. weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally activate the weapon set it to surface search Run it along the bearing of the target. There she goes. It doesn't match. It does match. It's as near as damn it. What doesn't match? The Luda. Well, you are right. It doesn't quite match. I'm willing to. I'm willing to say there's. I'm, I'm willing to allow the inaccuracy to say that it does match. The the lines here are a lot thicker. Because the ship is probably running at high speed. So we'd want to be uh, careful. Take us down to 1,000 feet, please dive. 1,000. Depth one zero 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 feet. Dive I. One zero 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 feet. No, the Jangu doesn't match. Oh, you're right. A Jang Wei. That looks a bit a bit better, doesn't it? Zhang Wei. 2.2 thousand tons. As escort. A much more dangerous target. Very loud, though. 195 decibels. Chinese make. Con, fire control. Weapon acquired. Dangerous ship. Okay, the Luda has been acquired. Again, the weapon's on passive homing, which means he won't hear it until it gets right on top of him. Are we happy to call that a Jang Wei then? That looks a bit more sharp, doesn't it? The line by off was, the, the, the line off by a pixel was giving you OCD. I imagine it was. <laughs> so the merchant ship's very loud. Chinese shipping? No, nope, the Marshall Islands again. So we got to let it slide.
This is where chat's like, sink it anyway. Ooh. <laughs> Con sonar lost contact. Ah. Sierra two last bearing. Three, Didn't even get one, his countermeasures three, off. Contact breaking Hits up. him astern. Listing to port. Big hit. Small ship. Big hull. Sinks quickly. Okay. Reload two five. One zero 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 feet. Dive eye. One zero 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 feet. Dive eye. Marshall Island's not even a real country. You can't say that. It's controversial. <laughs> What's with the arts and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on with that? Put the merchant ship out of its misery. I can't do that. I can't euthanize the merchant ships. I'll get told off. Right. Uh, well, yeah. Well, at least not non-civilian ships. Okay. So, Zhang Wei. We've got a rough estimate on its mark. 62% solution certainty. We're going to fire out a 2.5 again once it's ready, as it is on the starboard side. Which means we're less likely to break the wire. Which is uh, a bonus, I'm going to say. And that'd be a court marshalling, that's exactly right. Okay. So. Con, torpedo room, tube 5 ready. Tube 5 ready, I. Firing point procedures, bearings, 320, range to enable 5,000, so, sorry, 6,200 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 5. Shoot tube 5, aye sir. Weapon has cleared the tube and is running normally, going up to surface search. We should activate the weapon a little bit short of the looter here. It's beginning its long sail towards the bottom here. They've done very oh, well with the 3D yeah. models. Very nicely. Um, the Hyper Honey Badger, sir. Thank you very much for subscribing with Twitch Prime there. Welcome back. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an old face. Lovely. Right, so it's nosing over, cut through the water. It's going to head down bow first. They get, they get up a lot of speed when they sink like that, you know. Right. Right then. So the Jang Wei has been marked. Yep, definitely a Jang Wei. Fucking hell, he's got a garage. He's keeping his uh, oh, fucking yeah. Mercedes in there. Or Toyota, I guess. Um, big, big jiggy? Big jizzy. I'm guessing those twos are Zs. Big jizzy. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard, SSN 21. It's excellent. He's got his, uh, he's got his World of Warships um, flags on. He's going for extra XP and 50% uh, more credits. It's all good. Right, and we're going to activate the weapon now, as we come in. Lovely. So it's coming up to the surface. Boog first, that's right. <laughs> A little bit interested at the moment on Twitch latency. I'm not using the beta, bear in mind, so if I can ask you, at the v when I... So I'm going to say, I'm going to say a buzzword. And I want you to tell me in chat when it comes through. Banana! There we go. Banana. When did that come through? I want to see how many seconds lag there is. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Two, three, four, five. Now, banana. So about five, six seconds? That's not too bad, is it? It's come a long way. Jesus, now. Ah! <laughs> the chat's cut. <laughs> the chat's like blown up. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. I was kind of curious about. The lag, if you like. I was interested Con about sonar, noise maker, how, it, uh, Three, how it runs. Two, seven. Right, we want to get deeper than this torpedo. Bring us down to test depth of 1600 feet. Make depth one, six, zero, zero feet, dive by. He said it again. <laughs> Chat. Fucking trolling my ass. Too many bananas, yep. Why, 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 why was this one going? Where'd you shoot that one? Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. Three, like panic. Two, seven. Fire it now. Fire it. I don't care where. Just shoot the damn thing. You know what I mean? Where, where's he coming? 
It's not even going. To, it's going to hit the wrong country. You fired it at your uh, homeland. Weapon acquired. An 8.98 second delay. Good to know. Good to know. About six and a half seconds of latency. That's interesting. Different for different people, I guess. One second delay here. Oh, Con right. sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing three three zero. Contact breaking. Up. Oh Any yeah. Surface contacts. Yep, we've got one helicopter. Thank you very much, Mr. Ang Broder, for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much, mate. It is very kind of you. Six and a half, about five and a half seconds from Germany. Okay, that's cool. Eight point seven two seconds from the USA. Okay, good to know. In Australia, it's like nine and a half. So, pff, God, you get it weeks in advance. Do you know what I mean? You have to book an appointment with the next le with the next uh, with the next load of packets. Yeah, you have to book in advance. Speak to the secretary, um, and she'll get you booked in in four to eight weeks time, uh, seven to ten working days. <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, fair enough. Good to know. Nine and a half seconds in Belgium. Okay, twelve point eight nine seconds in Belgium. Good grief. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Belgium. Is, is clearly well, it's this again? We're gonna bust those round earthers. Clear, there's clearly something very right geographically with Belgium. Not that far from Quebec. What is this? I'm not there. It's interesting. Eight point four from Ireland. That's very strange. Nine and a half in Poland. In what world does do the people in Belgium get their live stream later than the people in Poland? Minus four from the Netherlands. So you know exactly what I'm going to say before I've even said it. Oh, not minus four. Sorry, you put the little squiggle. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. 20.18. 8 8.75 in the USA. USA. 4.30. 20, 22 minutes. 22 seconds. Perfect. Two seconds, Denmark. I, yeah, I don't know. Six seconds in Norway. How can I see it? I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure at this point they're pulling numbers out of their ass. Four seconds in Vancouver. No, I've got no idea how we see it. Six point three three in the UK. So what we've got? Nine seconds from Ukraine. Nine second. Eleven. How is it? Nine seconds to Ukraine, and then eleven seconds to Canada. Canada is like miles away. Eleven in Sussex, dude. You're like down the road. How are the people in Canada getting the live stream at the same point you are in Sussex? Where do you live? How far in the countryside are you, sir? That's outrageous. That's outrageous. Anyway, um, I think that's us in the clear then. There we go. Perfect. That, that, that UK internet, yeah. Right then, so let us leave combat. So the Luda and the Jiangwei, both of them sunk. Well done, but this was not your mission target. You... Uh, right, <clears throat> I suppose, um, I've got my arm twisted. Uh, Captain, we have a new sonar contact bearing fi 359, designate Sierra 1. Exo reports depth is 050 feet, heading 031, speed is 5 knots. Local conditions are scattered with a light breeze. Okay, all hands to battle stations. Rig ship for, for silent running. The water is crystal clear. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely. Con sonar, new contact bearing 3, 4, 9. Designated Sierra 2. Right, so sonar, take a sounding. Total water depth, please, Con is sonar, the magical 1900 feet because we've two. not moved Designated from the last time. Three. We've got three Sierras, large AC, uh, ASW Con fleet. Sonar, new contact bearing zero, one, this could zero. be our submarine wolf pack. Sierra, okay, let's mark. Let's go surface ships, definitely. Con sonar, new contact bearing three, <laughs> four, three. I've sent the whole Sierra Navy five. after me! <laughs> Con okay. Sonar, Sierra 1. Is classified as escort. Joe is not happy. <laughs> Con That's a sonar Jenku. Sierra Two is classified as escort. Oh, it is not a good day. It is not a good day. Winner winner chicken dinner. Sonar, merchant. Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Sierra 4 is merchant? Question mark? 
Question mark? Warship. Maybe. Warship, maybe. I feel like I've gone past it. Nope. Civilian ship, then. Of which variants? Oh, no, it's a Quang Sha. Con Sonar, Sierra 4, is classified as merchant. It's just a random merchant ship. Why is it here? That could be slightly off. Hmm. Hmm. And again, hmm. Okay, dive, take us down, please, to 300 feet. We're going to have to fire a snapshot here. Total noise is 79 decibels. It's extremely quiet. In fact, bring us to 200 feet. I want to get just below this moderate layer when we fire. We're going to set weapons 1 and 2 to surface search. Keep them on passive homing. What I want to do here is I want to get right underneath this moderate thermal layer here into something known as the dead zone. And it is essentially a pocket of uh, acoustic, sort of uh, an acoustic buffer, if you like, where hot water meets cold water and basically plays with how uh, sound travels through water. And it is going to make me a little bit quieter hiding down here. So I want to actually come up a little bit. I want to override my submarine's depth control and not set it to a normal depth. I want to have it literally just in the cusp here in the dead zone. Perfect. This will do. This will do nicely. Okay, we're in the dead zone, right underneath the layer. Conning tower's sticking over, but that's fine. Okay. It looks like they're turning to fire at me, actually. Firing point procedures. Bearing 004. Range to enable 10,100 yards. Ship ready. Tube ready. Fire tube 1. Ship tube 1. Aye, sir. We're going to we're gonna get two away, I think. In fact, no. We'll fire 1, fire 2. We'll wait for the solutions to improve. It's a military transport. Oh, right, okay, it's a military. Well, that would explain why we're shooting at it then. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How many fish on the boat? And a euphemism? <laughs> I don't know. Let's have a look. On our boat. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Ah. Payday today. So I'm pouring some coins in pennies, to be more specific, all over your head. Ten pounds worth of pennies on the old cranium is going to hurt quite a bit. But I appreciate it, nonetheless. The pain is welcome. Mr. Aragon, thank you very much for the ten pounds. Or Aragorn, to be precise there. Um, yeah, thank you very much, mate. It's very kind of you. Keep the change, oh. you filthy animal. Love these stream. Jokes aside, merch would be cool. Who the hell recorded Edna's voice? Why can't she speak? She slurs like a stroke victim. What's going on? Um, but thank you. And uh, merch, I don't know. I don't even know what I'd do for merch. Do you know what I mean? It's got to have like a pattern or an artsy thing on it. Maybe I'll talk to Bubi about it. That might be a good idea. Actually make some like specific like t-shirts and things like that. Actually have like proper t-shirt designs. Rather than, you know, just like my channel logo, like just on a, like just JPEGed on the shirt, do you know what I mean? Like have something decent. D oh, D's vines, yeah. yeah. <laughs> load five, that is a very good, and in fact, no, actually, I'm not going to load five there, um, Andre, um, because in order to load the ship, I have to release the ship, you can see up here, from silent running. And at the moment, I think it's one of the reasons I've not been detected yet. Basically, silent running, all unnecessary machinery is turned off. Reloading is, um, uh, I say disabled, you know, you're not allowed to reload the torpedo tubes because the clanking and the, the hissing of the pressure and so on to uh, equ equalise the torpedo tube and so on creates a lot of noise. Running the ship in silent running reduces our audio signature by as much as possible. We're going to now activate the weapon. Activate weapon 1. Steer it to the bearing of Sierra 2. <laughs> we talked about this already. Your face. Shirt, bra, underwear. Shoes or pants. <laughs> just anywhere. Have a pair of pyjama bottoms with just loads of little pictures of my face on it. The Quebec banana hammock. Yep. With my face right in the middle there. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Thank you for the entertainment. And we would love some Quebec body pillows <coughs> and toilet <coughs> paper merch. Body pillows? <laughs> 
<laughs> I choked on me fucking I was eating like half of a cookie that from I had from my body pillows. <clears throat> yep, yeah, okay. Sure, why not? Do a fan service. But thank you very much, Anjmar. <laughs> for five pounds. And they put in the idea of body body, body pillows with my face on it. I I'd have two. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> Lovely. Well, okay, that's put me off my cookie. <laughs> Right. Quick drink. I don't know when Hydrate Bot last dropped in. <laughs> Fucking hell, chat. I swear. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Put the cookie down. Oh, dear. Fucking hell, chat. Well... I'd say I'm surprised, but do you know, I'm not. <laughs> not surprised in the slightest. Let's do the wiggle. Let's check our left and right. Nothing. Let's stay on target. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. And as if on cue. Do you watch The Expanse? No. Although I might, because there's been such hype on bringing it back from the dead. That um, it's probably worth watching. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. Okay, three, so he's five, there. The five. Luda is likely in close proximity. The Quang Sha. We're gonna fuck him up. Oh, didn't Con, put didn't put me off the cookie for long, fire. folks. <laughs> As you bet, yeah. Sorry, talking with my mouthful. A Quebec chair, and I shall sell it for what? Three ninety nine. Keep with the meme. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Quebec mouse pads. Yeah, so I can stare back at you. <laughs> Horror. <laughs> Con sonar, noise maker, bearing three, five, four. I do need like ideas for like emotes and stuff like that. Like God, I don't write them down. Weapon acquired. Hello. Ah, the Luda. Tracking the Luda. Let's fire another weapon then. Firing point procedures. Bearing three, five, seven. Range to enable thirteen thousand yards. Ship ready. Two ready. Fire tube. Keep two. the change, you filthy animal. What's next, Quebec condoms? Well, mm. well, yeah, we shall call them Joe's Johnnies, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing zero, zero, two. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm glad we uh, discovered that together. Right. Con, fire control, weapon lovely. Acquired. It's gone for life, but lovely. <laughs> Yeah, Edna's coming for me, yeah. Can finally protect my big blue. Oh my god. <laughs> it's... Sure, why not? It's there. Clearly, there's a there's an untapped market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Well is 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 it is it ids ids I is I Z T S? Con fire control weapon acquired. Zeets. I don't know. Yeah, just keep bed keep keep eggs. <laughs> oh god. Con sonar. I can't get any words out. It's like it's just it's haunting my mind's eye. And my mind's eye is plagued. It's gone blind. My mind's eye has gone blind. Con sonar noise maker there bearing we go. zero. Good night. Zero, god bless. Three. Oh wow, it blew its fucking funnel off. Jesus. That was a hell of a hit. Okay. So we know their other target is somewhere around here. Don't know exactly where now, but there. <clears throat> Between uh, My spec saver slogan would be, your glasses are so sexy you'll need them. What, I hand them out free with like, um... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I think, I don't know, I think I'd get sacked if I was like, um... It's like, you know doing a collection at work. 
you know, handing someone their pair of glasses. So it's like, here's your, you know, French Connection case. Here's the bag, your warranty card. And here's a pack of, you know, Joe's Johnnies. You know, because you, you'll need them. Like, like, oh, God. I'd fucking, I'd get... I honestly, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to apologise. I'd, I'd be straight in front of the jury. I honestly, he'd send me down. <laughs> I I'm bang in trouble. Do, if if the rubber breaks, do we hear we lost the wire? <laughs> yeah. Fucking oh, don't. Yeah, fucking hell. So, yep, Quebec brand condoms, test depth, six inches. <laughs> oh dear, no, terrible. Oh god, fucking hell. I'm gonna wipe the tears from my eyes. <laughs> Just okay. Carrying on. Where were we? Cold waters. Oh yes. Right. Uh, Fire there we go. Acquired. We've acquired something. <laughs> oh dear. It, yeah. It <laughs> oh dear. You funny fuckers, I swear to god. Yeah, weapon acquired, that's it. Oh dear. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing. Three, four. Oh god, seven. they're much closer than we first thought. Let's try and line the ship up. Line the ship up, torpedo up. The weapon, as it were. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Just trying to drink my juice without laughing. I'll do it. Con, fire control, con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, four, six. <clears throat> okay, where were we? <laughs> right, okay, I think I'm reasonably composed now. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. This should find its mark pretty quickly. I think he's just here. Yep, I can hear him. Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two, yeah, Quebec themed bearing, boob three, and mouse pads. Four, oh yeah, six. they're a thing. I forgot up. they were a thing. They are a thing, aren't they? Right, we're going to fire one of our Taz... <coughs> Gracious. Flawless. Gentlemen. In fact. Um, yeah, so we're going to fire a... Sorry, there's another one coming. That sn snuck up out of nowhere. The long, dark condoms wouldn't be bad. I think there's like an interpretation there, Vagrant. I think there's like... The long, dark condoms is like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think there's a, uh, I think that's more niche than uh, than you were first thinking, or maybe you weren't. Tazza Tazza Burp, that's the one. A Quebec, yep, yeah, that's it. I think after, after after talking about it to some length, chat, I think it's just yeah, that's right. We'll can the glasses, or maybe we'll keep the glasses. Just a Quebec theme sex shop at this point. Maybe a Quebec book plug with a cartoon. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> right. we're, gonna, we're just going to just fire a tasm, I think. That's, yep, well, that's what we'll do. Right, uh, let's come up to periscope depth. Make depth four, five, eight, die, bye. Yep, Twitch admins are gonna be. Yep, I'm. I'm getting banned. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Quebec themed edible underwear. What flavor would it be? What flavor would my edible underwear be? If if I if I if I was you know if I was you know hypothetically. I mean, it's not hypothetical. It's gonna happen. Next week, the Tuesday. It's happening Tuesday. Um. Yeah, what what, what flavour would Quebec's edible flavour underwear be? Bear meat? Fish? Sushi? No. <laughs> Sushi flavoured underwear. Haunting. Absolutely haunting. Right, raise the radar mast. Ra hit the right key. Radar raise mast. The radar there we go. <laughs> right, there we go. We've got the Quang Sha on radar. We're going to fire a TASM. Here we go. Firing point. Con sonar, master four is classified as merchant. 
he's changed over. Well, my dear friend, it does appear that you are, are bang in trouble. I'm pretty sure this is hostile, isn't it? This isn't civilian. Obviously, it's Chinese. I'll, I'll put it to chat, shall we? Should we put it to chat? Do we want to save the Kyongsha, even though it's now flagged as a civilian vessel? What would you like to do? Gimp mask with my face on it. Too many... K kill it, kill it, k kill it, kill it, kill it. It's only... not... only one. But what's it? Bless it. The only... I think one of the only people that said save it there. <clears throat> Well, no witnesses, Newcomb. Well. You're allowed to kill it. Thank you. Kill the orphans. <laughs> yep, it's a boat full of orphans. Explode it. Yep. War crimes. Save. I know. By save, you mean put it out of its misery, I guess. Well. There's clearly going to be a mutiny if I don't... There's going to be a riot if I don't shoot it. So we're not going to shoot it. So that's it. We're going to let it go. No, sorry. We'll, we'll down the radar. And we'll uh, we'll fire. <laughs> right, okay, fire. It. Look, it's it's got to happen. Uh, chat is, but there's also a Sierra Five. Just beg beg your pardon. Let me just raise the radar mast. What the hell, Sierra Five? Keep the change, you filthy animal. Gas it. <laughs> chat, you bad people. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Bad people. We got a trawler as well. Gone sonar. Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. Radar mast is up, I believe. Is the radar mast up? Yeah. Raise the ESM mast. Can't quite get a solid solution on that one. Looks like it's just out of radar range at 35,000 yards. Looks like we'll lose the Kwong Sha as well then. Right. Or the ESM mast. Firing point procedures, bearing 010, zero, zero, range to enable 29,500 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 7. Shoot tube 7, aye sir. Just this little mast. There we go, drops its booster. Then the secondary comes on, and it's going to guide it the distance. Tomahawk anti-ship missile, otherwise known as a TASM, a TASM. Two ships, two tasms. Is it an enemy trawler? I don't know. It's not. It's not identified yet. It, we know it's a trawler, but the solution isn't high enough for, be, for me able to uh, blah, blah, words for me to be able to uh, to get a mark. Trawler is basically just another word for horrible Nazis. Yes, <clears throat> it would appear, at least in this chat, anyway. <laughs> Kev, Kivinu, get out while you still can. They've gone mad. They've gone mad, Kivinu. Run. There's, there's no, it's not safe here. Mmm. Lovely. It's the end of my juice. It's a cranberry juice, that was. Like I'm an old man. Char channeling the spirit of. trawler is taking your whales. Well, it's officially too late now. The homing warhead has found a target, and it's a TASM as well, like a fucking enormous weapon. Look at the size of the explosion that this thing's going to pump out. Con sonar lost contact. Master four, last bearing zero, one, zero, <laughs> contact breaking up. And this is like a civilian ship as well. This thing isn't designed to be sunk. This thing is going to go down like a fucking lead balloon. Like, look how quickly that's gone under. This thing doesn't have any like bulkheads or anything like that. This is a, this is a ferry. We've sunk a ferry. Oh, oh what, what were we calling it? A troop transport. <laughs> Bad people. Bad people. <laughs> Jesus. An enemy ferry. That's it. Okay. Right then, so uh, we're going to fire one more time, then we're going to fire at the trawler. 
we'll see what it was when it's sinking, I suppose. Firing point procedures, bearing 352, range to enable 32,100 yards. Ship ready, tube ready, fire tube 8. Shoot tube 8. Aye, sir. There we are. Drops its booster. It activates its secondaries, and we're on. Yep, on track to the trawler. How much does a TASM cost compared to an old ferry? Where are the subs, says Prot. I have no idea. They're not in this engagement. They'll probably be on the next one. Um, but unfortunately, I, I have to nip it in the butt, for it is nearly four o'clock, and I, there is some stuff I need to do before the folks get home. If we'd like expended like most of our weapons payload, to be honest. We've only got eight ad caps and a handful of other missiles left. Let's see if we can we won't spot it on the horizon, but hopefully the warhead on the TASM will. We'll know that it's found its mark if it changes course. Because the TASM only changes course once it's found a target. Otherwise it will just gradually run out of puff and sink into the ground. Or the water. Let's see if it changes course. Any second? Whoop. It's not looking good. Ah. Ding, 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 ding. Let's see if we got it right. Chinese, we did it. <laughs> yep, this is a fucking sushi order. Let's see if we see the missile come in. Don't see it. Oh, there it was. It was coming down there. Sierra five, Jesus Christ. Bearing three, five, Fucking two, hell. Contact breaking Absolutely up. snapped the arse there. I would imagine an explosion like that would have killed everyone on board instantly. Acceptable casualties? Nope. Hostile logistics? <coughs> it was an intended target. Right. Oh, dear. Stretchy arms. Good. Oh, man. So, what we're going to do is we're going to reload all of the tubes. One, two. We're going to reload uh, a harpoon and a tasm. And then we're going to reload another Mark 48 in those. We are going to leave combat with reloads underway. Excellent. Unfortunately, not our mission target. Okay, hit escape before another fucking submarine thing comes and annoys my ass. So, I'm going to hit save. Lovely. And um, that concludes this session of Cold Waters. Nearly three hours there. So yeah, like, like about in the time that I like to keep it. As I say, tonight there are plans to do some... Um, oh, let me just stretch a little bit here. Jesus Christ! I haven't like, stretched in like three hours. I'm dying. Legs have fallen off. Um, yeah, fucking... Yeah, what are we doing tonight? There's something happening to... Postscriptum, that's right. Postscriptum... Um, next playtest, the playtest of Postscript and they've done a little bit of work to it and they're back to us, um, it was in open beta or well, closed beta I guess um, a couple of weeks ago and um, they're back uh, for another session so we're going to be doing that with I believe Digby and Womble tonight should be a good laugh, uh, my only issue is, um, is that the problem with first person shooters with grass and things like that is that my bitrate at the moment cannot really deal with it so I'll put it to you now stream chat I imagine most of you are going to go and watch Womble's perspective of it but would you like me to stream it tonight bearing in mind that it might be a little bit blurry would you like me to um, it's one of those ones uh, if not we can all obviously pile into either Soviet or Digby's house and we can watch it there um, hmm. yes 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 uh, wait for somebody to say no <laughs> we don't care cool well, that's a resounding yes. If you stream or watch, we're here for you. Oh, bromance, man. <laughs> thanks, thanks very much. Um, Womble POV is boring. He dies all the time. <laughs> okay. Do it. Do it. Emperor Palpatine. Right. Or oh, the Chancellor. Sorry. Let's not get too confused. Um, okay, then. So, uh, tonight, then. I won't be there because I'll be watching Deadpool 2. Well, I'm, that's something I need to watch as well, sir. So, in, do enjoy the film. Feel free to sling in a review or whatever. 
uh, when we reconvene tomorrow then. All right, so thanks very much, and I will catch you all next time. It's time to see who to palm the uh, you guys off to. Do feel free to fill them in about the um, the sex merch store next time. Oh my goodness me, Mr. Cyanide Plays Games is playing Skyrim. Rimming the sky. Okay, perfect. Well, let's let's get you in on some Skyrim gameplay then. So, thank you very much for coming down. Hope you enjoyed Cold Waters. I'm actually looking forward to playing Skyrim on 60 FPS, really high bitrate with you guys. That'll be fucking swell. So I'll catch you all then. Take care of yourselves, and um, yeah, catch you tonight. Snow trolls are scary, or frost trolls. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yes, I am sure about it. Why'd you send me here if you weren't gonna believe me? Mm-hmm. You're right, you're right, Spectrist. I mm -hmm. was sure it must mm -hmm. have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? The bloke called Jeff, probably. Is He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have gotten years ago. That crazy, crazy old, old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? To kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the Blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. I'd he knew smash. everything about the ancient dragon and the blade. Obsessed with it, too. Nobody paid much Oh, hello, Quebec! I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Oh, hello! So the Thalmor think the blades know Ironic. about the dragons. The old enemies assume that every calamity must be Penguin Mithut, thank so you for the sub. Much love, man. Thank you. you. Appreciate it. You'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Rattler, then. It's where I'd go. This is you his first time, yes. Talk to Brynjol. He's well interested. Good starting point. Follow a Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. <clears throat> okay, cool. A cornered rat. All right then, off we go. Would I buy a Quebec body what? pillow? Only if I, if I squeezed it hard enough, it whispered to... Get the fuck out of the way! Only if, uh, only if I squeezed it hard enough and it gave me, like, Quebec whispering into my ear because his voice is sexual. Good job, Ryan. Lock that door. They won't know what hit him. I'll get recorded. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even, I don't even care what you put on that fucking door. Like it could be a face of just, well, something really ugly. I don't know, like Soviet's face or something like that. <laughs> but if I squeeze it hard enough and whisper it in my ear, you know, it said something about, oh, I don't know, just things you'd say in bed, really. I'd be in. Q. I'd be in. What the. was rude That is some BS shit right there. What the hell, dude? Oh, this is annoying. Don't you hate it when you just walk out of the bar and you get lit up by a fucking dragon? Where are you shithead? Where'd you go? I have no health regen either. This stupid fucking dragon go away, bro. Wow, did lots of damage to him there. Come on, poopy head.
Oh, I hit him. Hit him again. He's bleeding. That's something. Really, right? Is that necessary? What the hell did that thing just do? Honestly, the flight physics for these things are some. Ow, 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 ow. I'm fucked. Right, time to hang on. Time to fucking munch down some cheese, boys. Eat. I, I am so fucked. I Eat cannot kill this stupid fucking dragon. Eat for your life. Eat. Eat for oh, your oh life. Oh god, there he is. Hello. In the butt. In the butt. In the butt. Ah. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oof. That did hurt, as expected. Oh Christ! Please no! Please no! Please no! 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 Do not light me on fire! Fuck off, you fucking scaly fuck! Get out of here! Is he gone? Dragon, dragon, dragon. That's a cow. That's not a dragon. Where did the dragon go? Oh, okay. Just follow the massive amounts of fire and explosion. That that works. Oh, f he's he is. He's actively trying to do his worst, mate. Just shut your mouth. You're not being helpful at all. Headshot. <laughs> 